It's warming up, Kevin. We right. are live. Gang member. We are live. Jazz hands. I hope you guys got your big girl panties on right Gang. now at this moment. This feels like the Black Panther Party hangout. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you got your, your Black Panther panties on tonight. It's me and Kevin right now, but uh, we will be like a Oreo cookie in a minute when uh, Walter gets here. <laughs> Walter will be the cream in our Oreo. That's what that's what his job is. Yeah. So we're live from the Big Daddy Gun Studios. This is episode 111 of the Who Move My Freedom podcast. We're live from the Big Daddy Gun Studios. Um, shout out to everyone there in the Hangout. People already joining us. Shout out to Kevin, Kevin Dixie Diximus. Prime. <laughs> Man, you and these names, dude. <laughs> I, where does this What's, come from? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. What's up, Kevin? Uh, no, much, man. It's uh, it is a, a, a good day. You know, um, uh, it all started, uh, I don't know, last week with the rant and then with the release of the, which, you know, the release of the uh, Coleon Noir show, uh, right. The Armed Citizen. Uh, we were talking about that last night. Oh, ah, yeah. I heard a little bit of it. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. I like. I love you guys for thinking about me when I'm not actually physically present. Um, um, we weren't really thinking about you. I think you sent us a thing that's telling us if we did not announce that you were on that show, that we would all be in trouble. Yeah, you. I mean, dogs, dogs will be falling from the skies on our houses. That's that is true. Don't don't try to make people think you were nice about it, Kevin. <laughs> I'm I'm a nice guy. <laughs> Uh, but it was a uh, it was it was good to be um to be uh, not only on the show but uh, NRA and uh, Noir and Lasort were nice enough to give me the feature spot. So mm -hmm. I actually got seven minutes out of thirty nine, which is good because it was spread out amongst a lot of people. Um, so That's that was cool. awesome. Uh, the best quality production wise that uh, I've been on in one segment for that long. So excited about that, man! Excited for people to see because a lot of guys thought it was all about the rant. Like, oh man, it gets. You get more, you know, what is it? You get more uh, bees with honey or whatever the saying is. Uh, but it's like, no, you haven't. You just saw one piece of me. You didn't get to see the whole thing. So yeah, having that come out was nice to see, you know, the, the event laid out. And uh, oddly enough, some people didn't think that I was a gun guy, believe it or not. It's oh. kind of weird, hence the title of the <laughs> company, but um, they, they kind of, I guess, I don't know, people just take things the wrong way. So all that to say, it opened up with me, you know, running some guns and stuff like that. So it kind of like, oh, okay. So I don't know, man, I'm just, I'm in great spirits today. I'm in a great mood today. Uh, just overall, life is good, you know, and I'm excited to chat with the, the, the peoples in the Who Move My Freedom uh, podcast tonight. You Absolutely, know? man. We're taking over the show right now. Um, lots of folks out there, I want to remind you guys thumbs up this video it's only me and kevin so there you go one of us is the most beautiful gun guy in the world and the other guy is kevin dixie <laughs> <laughs> so we should definitely get some thumbs ups just for that alone <laughs> according to american gun chick neither one of us are will smith so no she was she just didn't want to hurt your feelings so oh, that's what it was. she oh. didn't want yeah she didn't want you to know american gun chick didn't want you to know how awesome i was so she felt, you know, obligated to say that. I'm just, putting, I'm just putting that out there. I'm just putting that out there. <laughs> so make sure you thumbs up this video, please. If you hate us, you could thumbs down it. There you go. If you think I'm not the most beautifulest gun guy in the world, you could thumbs down it if you want to. That's all right. And uh, make sure you share this with friends and family. Let them know that we're doing this. Use hashtag. You can use hashtags. Jazz hands. Hashtag thumbs up. Hashtag big girl panties. Hashtag stranger holics. And hashtag um, NOC. Yeah, hashtag NOC. You can do that too. You can do hashtag Kevin Diximus. <laughs> 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 or Kevin Diximus Prime. You can do hashtag Burl. Yeah, hashtag Burl is a good one. That started here. Yeah. I think that's a good one. Um, I thought of another. <laughs> We're just going to make up hashtags. Um, it's a, you know, like this is a hangout. We're using hangouts to do this. So I was thinking hashtag Hank out. Hank out. Yeah. Hank out. So. You are, you are definitely, you definitely have the marketing gene in you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you know, got to have some kind of genes. <laughs> Some kind of gene. So yeah, we're gonna do that. And our topic tonight that we're gonna talk about, we're talking about, is this the beginning of the end 
for gun rights in America. Obviously, you know, this um, this thing went down last night. The election went down. And uh, The Truth About Guns has an article entitled Gifford's Anti-Group, Anti-Gun Group Celebrates Alabama Senator-Elect Doug Jones' Victory. So, you know, I think there's lots of anti-gun people out there that are celebrating. They think this could be the turn here where maybe they could, if not get the legislation they want, block the legislation that we want. And uh, we're going to definitely talk about that. And, you know, you guys can let us know. Uh, LV Louis Cypher said, hashtag Hank Strange is the next Billy Mays. Okay. You know, so we're going to talk about all that tonight. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and shout out everyone in the Hangout that I see. The Archangel was number one in the Hangout today. So what's up to Archangel? And Chris Illog is uh, number was number was number two in the Hangout. All right, Chris. You know, so congratulations to Chris getting in here early and all that. I was late, so. Yeah. I was going to blame this all on Kevin Dixie. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to do it. Then I, I had like, to text you up like, uh, like, <laughs> yeah, going it was like, what's going on, man? You're supposed to be texting me by now saying, where the hell are you? And only Hank is yelling like uh, link sent. Get in here. I'm like, all right. Yeah. <laughs> so it's all, it's all me. I was in a meeting before, before, uh, before we started, this, I was in a meeting with the Big Daddy Guns guys. I have a lot of big stuff going on behind the scenes with the Big Daddy Guns guys. I just can't talk to anybody about it as of yet because it's not all set in stone and all that kind of stuff. Don't want to jinx anything, but we've got some big stuff. So keep an eye on us, especially when we come back in the new year, especially during SHOT Show. By the way, Kevin Dixie, Sir? you, we are stay, me and you are staying in the whole, in the same hotel for SHOT Show, right? We are. You're also going to be hanging out with some Big Daddy Guns guys in that hotel. Oh, can't wait to meet the fellas. So there you go. You you'll definitely oh, get to meet. Got some ladies in there? I'm not sure. I don't know. Um, no, I don't think there's any ladies coming with us other than Lola, of course. Um, okay. you know, but uh, no, you. I, I can get some ladies. Is that baby? I think that's yeah. Whoa. Lola says she can get some ladies. Um, I've been married to her for twenty something years. She's always uh, trying to like bamboozle me with that nonsense. <laughs> Yeah, no, I don't. I'm, I'm yeah. married as well, and um, I don't. I don't want ladies in that way. Um, yeah. Awkward moment. Um, yeah, hey, baby. <laughs> 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 uh, but yeah, I can't wait to meet, um, meet some of the big daddy guys. Cool. Yeah, absolutely. And we got Babyface joining us. Babyface P. What up? You know, are you you're not at Safety Harbor today. I can see the the your <laughs> rifle poster behind no, you. I we Marley and I just got home about an hour ago from the mountains. Yeah. Oh, and I was going to say, what the hell is the matter with you? This is not sweater weather in Florida. It's 45 right now. It's not sweater weather. You're complaining about 45. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> we were just down. So when we were up in the mountains, we went snowboarding, and it was down to uh, – it got down to like 17, I think, and it was snowing. It was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, let's just try to stay on track here. We will come back. We got baby face. Is Walter joining us? I think Walter's joining us sometime tonight. I don't know. He's up to something. <laughs> Who knows what Walter's up to, you know, um, getting in, getting in some loving with Peggy Killer Keller. Who knows what, what's mm -hmm. going on there? Uh, and, and you can't hate a dude for that. You know, if the what is it? If the uh, buses are rocking, don't come a knocking. What's the saying? Some, some of that's going on right now. All right. Shout out to Gorillas and Guns. He's also in here. LB Louis Cypher. DC2 Mega Boost, Cody Phillips, Vanessa Kitty, Greg 98K, uh, Mr. Bullshitter. <laughs> um, let's see who else. Joe Carpenter, Mark Wagner, BRA94. He says, hello, all. So uh, there you go. So uh, who else is in here? Um, uh, let's see. I'm going through Chris B. Chris B says, I hate winter. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, okay. Um, I'm not sure where Chris B is, so it, it could be horrible. Uh, Chris B, tell us where you are, man, because I don't think I remember. Okay. Uh, also, Hamburger Helper is in here. Kentucky Firearms Network. Uh, let's see who else, who else, who else, who else is in here. Uh, Jackson Oldman. He's in. What's up, Jackson Oldman? Is Jackson Oldman the one, the guy that won the gun, Lola? Okay, Jackson Oldman, he's in here. Please tell us about this gun. Have you shot it? Um, yeah, I don't know. I think I think he should have picked it up. Uh, if not, why not? 
is my yeah. question. <laughs> um, yeah, Jackson Ullman, you need to tell us. I don't know if you can actually get on here with us, but if you can communicate with Lola, and you ha even if you just want to come in with audio, but it would be great if we could see the gun. You could talk to us about it, but I don't know. I'm not trying to put you on the spot. But it would be awesome to show people that we actually did give that gun away, you know, and ha and have everyone look at you and and envy you for the awesomeness that you have. Tango Hunter, I think I, I don't know if I said Tango Hunter already. Uh, Mark Wagner, the Range One is in here, so there you go. Opt out of gun control also in. Let's see who else is in. Who else is in? Uh, Peggy Killer Keller is in there. Oh, what's up? Okay, I guess the rockin' has stopped. So Peggy Killer Keller is able to be in here now. <laughs> so she's gonna, Peggy's gonna get me. <laughs> um, let's see who else. I'm trying to go down the list here. I think I said Jordan Poole, T uh, Tad Howard. What's going on, Little Lioness? And uh, Recall Junkie, 1981. Matthew Sessions. Uh, top boy. So there you go. Um, Rodney Summers as well. Shout out to Rodney Summers. John Gilligan. Gillian. I see the Tyvin show is in here. What's going on, Tyvin? Um, the range one says, "Hit that thumbs up, y'all." So yeah, come on, dudes. Thumbs ups. We got to get those thumbs up. We have 111 viewers right now. I wonder how many thumbs ups we have. Also, Kevin, you can hit the thumbs up and. I am getting all the thumbs up, you know, everyone get the thumbs up. Tad Howard said he's getting no video. Internet, please give Tad Howard video. I see how you look. And sometimes you have to restart. You have to restart your link or something yeah. like that. Yeah, you look fine yeah. to me. Yeah. So um, uh, <laughs> Tango Hunter said hashtag Warsaw. I think he get he meant to say loves Glocks, but he put lives Glocks. Could be either one. <laughs> Hashtag Warsaw lives Glocks. Um, I guess Warsaw Warsaw is not in here with us anymore. Um, I think he was getting a little out of control. Uh, Jumpy Killer QX also in here. What's going on? Um, I try not to ban people from this thing, but if you really, really go all the way out there, it could happen. He wasn't uh, banned, but he doesn't like being. It's out there. Oh, he doesn't like being teased. So there you go. Huh? Somebody somebody doesn't like being teased. Yeah. Um, if, you, with this crew. If, if you don't like being teased, oh, wow. you probably should not watch this because we tease each other incessantly. <laughs> <laughs> to the point of madness. Um, I mean, I get teased too. You know, the, these dudes threw up. Actually, this numb nuts right here was throwing up Photoshop pictures of me last <laughs> week. I, I had to deal with that nonsense. Um, so, okay, Tim. Uh, Tim, not Tim, is in here. Daryl Freeman, uh, Buck Frampton, all those guys. Shout out to everyone. If I missed you, I'm sure I did miss some people. There's uh, John. He says, hashtag give the thumbs. That's a good one right there. Uh, little Linus says she's seen 23 thumbs up. So we got to get more thumbs ups going on here. Come on. Uh, Rob Graham says he sees 90. Uh, how many did Rob Graham say? 69. 69! So let's get uh, Kal-El is in, Mike Bryan is in, Mutiny for the Cat is in, Tyler Davies. Come on, people. We got 114 people in here. Let's get the thumbs ups pumped up and get more thumbs ups going on of this video right now. Let's do it. I'm going to go thumbs up my damn self. How about that? You. <laughs> you guys are forcing me. You're forcing me to like stoop to new lows and new levels. I'm gonna yeah, yeah. Like as uh, Lola's reminding me, my favorite saying: "You're making me bleed my own blood." I gotta go thumbs up myself, and who knows what movie that's from? Bleeding your own blood. Let me know. Um, the first person who knows where you made me bleed my own blood, where that comes from. Okay, we got like 83 thumbs ups. Come on, come on, dudes. I was uh, thumbs up number 84, so there you go. Come on, let's hit the thumbs ups buttons and get it going in here. And uh, I think we're getting Walter Keller at some point coming in. So, all right. So, like I said, I think our subject tonight is, is this the beginning of the end for gun rights? Is the Second Amendment now in jeopardy? You've definitely got anti-gun groups out there. Gun grabbers are celebrating this... Um, 
this Doug Jones win in Alabama. Tyler Dady got it first, Dodgeball. Dodgeball, yes, that is from Dodgeball, one of my favorite movies. Tyler Dady. Yeah. So, what do you guys think about this, Kevin? What do you think? You think we're... Um, so, it is... You know, and I'm assuming now, the one thing I didn't get a chance to understand, his seat, I understand what he what he got, but is he like sitting on a, uh, a seat with some swinging power or something? Well, it's the Senate. So, I mean, they. I don't think, you know, they've, they've got to get the Senate and they have to get Congress at the same time. So this was a Senate seat. Um, you know, they can at least block stuff. See, this is the, you know, this is the thing, man. Like, we, we're we waiting and we're doing all this stupid strategy. And people are like, oh, in the midterms, that's when we're going to try to bring out reciprocity and, you know, take this thing off, off the NFA or whatever. And these guys are waiting. And meanwhile, these seats are changing. Yeah, any pendulum is swinging. You know, you have to, and you know what? This is the reason. So this guy gets elected in, right? And anytime Giffords is behind him, you ought to know it's a problem. Like, yeah, I mean, seriously. <laughs> I don't care if you eat lunch at the, in the same restaurant with Giffords. You know there is a problem. You are up to something. Um, and they're gonna they're gonna do uh, everything that they can to make sure that they're planning seats. And this is, you know what? And and I I, I want to let people know something. You know, from a, a two way standpoint, but any standpoint in your life, but from a two way standpoint. It is great that uh, guys are watching videos and sharing videos and going to their local FFLs and supporting companies big and small. And, you know, that's great. And, and please do all that times 30. Right. Mm -hmm. However, what you have to be able to mix in there is understanding, man, that the fight is not always in your face. Sometimes it's very, very low key. And things like this are very, very low key because, yeah, we kind of keep our thumb on the post as best we can. But there are plenty of people that have no idea that this happened. And you are, we're not actually getting out doing work. What we're doing is um, we're doing great things, but we're not doing some of the work that we're going to be defeated with. So keep in touch with your politicians. I know um, we put out little posts like that all the time. Like, hey, call these people, call these people. Mm -hmm. You really should do it. Like it's a reason why it's being said. Because once these guys get enough power, man, it doesn't matter. Whoa. <laughs> you see what happens when you don't control things? This is what I'm right. Yeah. It's Thank my you. show now. Get the out of here. <laughs> <laughs> um, you gotta get on right when Kevin said what this is what happens when people get the power. And Walter comes in with the crazy. <laughs> By the way, Babyface, you didn't put up a lower third, man. I know you're over working. there. You're over there pulling a Patrick R and uh, fixing a gun or doing whatever craziness you're doing. You want to working on? You need to. What are you working on? What are you working on? Oh, looking at the gun. That is. Uh, what gun is this? Uh, what gun is it? Hmm. Hank doesn't yeah. know. Now I want. I do want to point out this uh, quote though. So. And yeah. the quote there is it says throughout was well, not a quote, I guess. Throughout his career, Jones has sought justice for those. And before I read this, before I read this, I don't I want people to understand that as a community, we are supposed to be thinkers. You have to think, you have to go deep into your thought process and really, really be analytical with words and how things are played. So think about it. everything that I always say about aiming for the truth and community efforts and stuff like that and being out working with communities every single day because anti-gun people are in their ear. That, I said that, been saying that for years. Throughout his career, Jones has sought justice for those who have not received it and will continue that effort in the United States Senate. We look forward to working with him to keep our community safe by confronting the gun violence epidemic <laughs> in our country. What communities do you think they're going to start with? They're going to go right for the black communities. And Absolutely. Disarm, and disarm you know what I mean? Yeah, and those are the the good the hardworking people in those communities, and the, you know, uh, um, there's lots of communities out there I think that are impoverished, etc. You know, but yeah, those the hardworking, um, good citizens in those communities that are targeted by people and need to defend themselves, you are going to lose your right to defend yourself first. And, and, and the man's going to take care of you, right? Yeah. You know, and, and when those folks are out there telling us, oh, man, you know, I didn't even know I could do this. And by the time you figured out you had the, these rights already lost them. But and here's one of the things I'm just going to read this comment from Kool-Aid, man. I don't know. I haven't seen him in here before. But he says um, they had they had no choice. They had to choose between a communist or a child molesting white supremacist. He's not. <laughs> now, 
you know, I don't know where he, um, I'm not sure. I know there's stuff in the news about like uh, him dating underage girls or whatever. Uh, you know, obviously that stuff is in the news. And uh, listen, this is the problem. This is the problem with politics. Who's choosing these people to go up there? You exactly. know, you, we're, we're relying on the Republican Party and the Democratic Party to put people up there. And, you know, they're not necessarily putting people up that have the people in general's best interests at heart. You know, and, and so if you want to um, try to avoid things like this, I don't think we could 100 percent avoid things. And people could throw out allegations all they want to. We could throw them out. Other people could throw them out. The problem with all that crap is, you know, I, you, I can call you this and I can call you that. But I don't have to have no proof. Yeah. You know, and that's, you're that's the real that. issue. Yeah. You know, um, <clears throat> you know, you, you, you're like, oh, well, you know, he did this and he touched me and he looked crooked at me and everything else. You know, it's like, um, and then 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 you've got to, like, come out with. But, you know, even with that Roy Moore guy, half the evidence was fake anyways. You know, that woman that fabricated stuff, wrote in those, you know, her own somebody's handwriting in the books and stuff or different handwriting. So right, in, right, right away, it's all the credibility is all gone. But nobody seems to care, you know. Once the well, allegation is made, it's done. Yeah, I mean, once the media decides to go after it, you know, except, well, except if you have power, except if you have power. Well, For example, did you guys hear that there's something floating around out there about Chuck Schumer? No. Okay. I, yeah, I Schumer files police report after fraudulent document emerges. So apparently there's someone, there's some, the, the, the media, this is um, the New York Times, and they're saying that it is a fake, it's fake news, but they're reporting on it. And uh, here, and then here's what they say from Washington. Here's a new way to fight back attempts to spread fake news, file a police report. That's what Senator Chuck Schumer's staff did on Tuesday in reporting to the Capitol Police the existence of a, existence of a fraudulent document that described false allegations against the New York Democrat. When, when is, which when, looks like a court filing, listen to this for a second, suggests that Mr. Schumer sexually harassed a staff member. The staff member who was named in the document as the plaintiff and who no longer works for Mr. Schumer told the New York Times on Wednesday that the harassment claims were completely false, quote unquote. The former staff member spoke on condition of anonymity. So yeah, there's another thing too that really, uh, <laughs> what? Right it right, fries my, you know, like gets me going is all these people, all anonymity and secret sources and all mm -hmm. this bullshit. Yeah. Yep, you know, like, if you're going to accuse, if you're going to accuse me of doing something, you better have a, a big enough set to come out and say who you are. Cause if not, I'm going to find who you are eventually. And I'm not going to do any bodily damage to you, but I'm going to drag you out and, and expose you in a very, uh, <clears throat> um, bad way. So, yeah. I mean, that's, a, that's the way I well, look. And so here's the thing. So let's say, they're saying, so obviously there's something floating out around um, about Schumer, and they're deciding to push back against it. The same media that if anything floats out there right now about any Republican, they will totally, they will spread that as gospel. And, and, I, get, and I get it. It's the game. This is how the game, you know, this is how the game is me. getting played, you know? Explain something to me. When do you call nine, no, when do you call 911 when somebody calls you a bad name? <laughs> when, when, is, when have the police became... The truth, the Pope, the Popo, the Popo got so many skeletons in their closet. Let's, let's, you know, but when did the police become the, the person you go cry to when somebody does something like that? I don't know. Don't you have to have like, they have to see the crime to be, you know, I thought that's the way it worked. You know, I thought you had to, mm -hmm. you know, if you call the police and tell your neighbors looking at you funny every day, well, he said, well, we have to see that, you know, we, have, we can't yeah. do anything until we see it. But I, I think what they're doing here, and this is this is the game that this this game right now, this tool of uh, sexual harassment and all this kind of stuff coming up from a long time ago, um, you know, this is a weird game because obviously it's playing on our, you know, our sense of honor and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Like, how how can you support this guy who there's these allegations and we, you know, I'm not saying whether or not we could decode it. It's too late for all that. They use this thing. They, they were able to use that to take over an election and win. And then on the flip side of it, if someone puts out something about Schumer, they're like, nope, this is fake news. We're going to report this. And the person who's saying that it is fake news is not even willing to admit who she is. Well, right? first, thing, first thing, the Republicans probably didn't have the best candidate. Okay. No. 
clearly not. I mean, obviously that wasn't the best choice. Um, mm -hmm. If they would have had a better choice, the numbers probably say that he would have won or yeah. she would have won. So, who do you, so what I'm trying to say, when we're passing blame around, we have to, we have to, like, I'm not a Republican, so, you know, um, I, 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 don't I, vote, I vote a lot for Repub I I vote for guns. To be honest with you, that's what I vote for. I vote for guns. I want, I want my gun rights back. I want, I want people to give us us free, <laughs> give us back our freaking guns. You know, that's what's freedom to me. That's what I vote for. So who do we blame for all this kind of craziness? I mean, every single day the media is assassinating our cousin, our current president. They're assassinating his character what? every single day. Okay. But, okay. but And so we can blame them. But who do we blame for the fact that that's who we have up there as president? Well, I'm not blaming anybody. Why? Who does there to blame? What do you mean to blame? What's there to blame? I voted for him. Blame yeah. me. <laughs> I, 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 but what I'm trying to tell you is that you know, we you got, if you didn't vote for him, you would have got somebody that's running a, a criminal, a crime family, basically, laundering money and, and trafficking children. Yeah. Which is well, and, and yes, I understand, I understand exactly what you're saying, and I'm saying like well, you know, well, and this is what lots of people are saying though. Like, why do we always have to have these two terrible choices? Well, oh come on. You know, and then we have to choose the lesser of two evils and who we want to choose because we're like, oh, you know, you got to vote for this guy because even, even in, in all otherwise these we'll lose our gun rights. All these other countries that have 500 different parties and different candidates, it always comes down to two. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't come down to but, 501. It comes down to. Yeah. Can I tell you, can I tell you what my answer is to that? I mean, I, like, I, I'm not, I can have the usual conversation we have. What I'm trying to do is, like, twist our brains a little bit here and make us think about things from a different perspective. So, you know, the, the people who we have to blame for that is us, in my opinion. Because lots of people, I've had some good people on here. I can't run for president, man. I can't. I'm, I'm a naturalized citizen. I wasn't born here. But uh, this guy right here was born here in America. Okay, this dude right here was born in America. Oh, look at uh, me. I ain't running for president. This, this guy was born in America, and you see what you guys are saying? Nope, not going to run for president. Oh, so wow. then guess who's going to run for president? People who want the power. Politicians. That's, what, that's who's going to run. So uh, ultimately, it's like with athletes. Like, I believe, I was telling someone this today, I think with athletes, we should just have the fucking mutant leagues. We should just let people take whatever kind of steroids they want to, implant stuff, put knives into their bodies, just go out on the field and kill each other and do whatever. And let's just all get entertained and get over the silly thought that people have to somehow be virtuous and honorable. Yeah. And it's the look, same look, thing look. with politics. You, you love to look, everybody loves to look at the hottest chick in the world or the, or the buffest guy in the movies and all that stuff. They don't care how they get there they, as long as they're there, right? I don't like to look at the buffest dudes in movies at all. Yeah, you do. I don't know about you. No, I don't. No, I don't. I think that movies don't have enough fat dudes. The <laughs> what 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 makes why 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 are, why are you putting an athlete as some kind of person that you you who is the leader who is the these these people that come out that have a lot of them don't have a damn day of any real education besides the fact that they can throw a baseball or or catch a basketball and and now they're the they're the social leaders. These are speaking for people and they they're speaking of injustice and and all this shit while they make 30, 40, 50 million dollars and, and live in a house full of servants and everything else. That's not, you know, yeah. I, I, I think I think America has this puritanical thing going on that probably goes way back, but then even people who come to America get into fall into this puritanical thing where everyone's got to be pure and awesome. And it's an impossibility because everyone's a human being. Well, if you look at what happened with Kevin Spacey, he's on a TV show playing the president, but playing a Republican president, right? Democrat. He was playing a Democrat? Mm-hmm. Okay. What, what I was trying to, what I was trying to get to, what, 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 makes a, what makes an athlete where he's got to be so pure and, and, and clean as the driven snow? I, I, my opinion, I, when I, when I, if, I, if I was to watch something, I want to see these guys win. <laughs> so... If it takes a little juice to win. Okay. Yeah, but 
I think we have to get over the we have to get over the thing. If we're not gonna if we're not going to if we're not gonna run for president and we're not gonna run for office and we're not gonna put out like wh what's the biggest reason people don't want to do it? Like why did Patrick say he's not running? I don't want my life in the in the spotlight. There you go. Well, I mean, why, so why is it? I mean, why, why you know, don't you want your life in the spotlight? I'm a private person. I don't want to be. I don't want to be in the spotlight. You're on well, this. I mean, yeah. I mean, like, <laughs> stuff like this isn't isn't doesn't bother me. Yeah, Patrick's I'm not getting, worried because there's not right. enough people watching this right now. Yeah, like hundred people, and some of them get to make memes about me. Like I don't care, but well, everybody, nobody likes being criticized, and fifty percent of the country isn't going to like your decision. Why would I want to be that guy? Like, screw that. Trump is Trump is a <laughs> perfect example of why why would why would he want to be the president? Hell yeah. I know that you're you're going to say the power, the power, the power, right? He's got all the freaking money he needs. He flies around in his own jet. He he got houses. He's got businesses all over the place. He doesn't need he doesn't need it. He's given away a salary. Um, one of two things: either he felt he needed to, because, like you say, the power, mm -hmm. or maybe he did it because people said he couldn't do it. Remember, there's a lot of that. Oh, you know, you know he, he's never going to do it. Even Obama said, "Oh, he ain't never going to do it." Well, he had to eat, he had to eat his words a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, He'd smoke Obama in an election. Sorry. Um, um, so, oh, look at this. More food. <laughs> <laughs> it, maybe he'll shut him up. Oh. No, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, That's no. just cold. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm going to disagree with you about one thing. Um, and you, you can you can like or hate whatever president you want, but it's at a certain point, we got to be real. One, just about general, um, general debating tactics. There's no way Trump beats... Obama in a debate. Uh, There's no way. Obama is, you can like the guy, hate the guy. We're talking about straight skill sets here. He's From a good orator. You, can take, you no, can take politics off the table. There is no way. Take. We don't even have political affiliations at all. Standing up straight for straight, there's no way. The only thing that Trump has over Obama, as far as debating tactics goes, is that he will just unfiltredly say things. Correct. Right? But um, I don't think that he necessarily beats him in a debate. I think that when we oh. get sometimes when we start disliking people, we start also taking their attributes from them. If nothing else, Obama was a great speaker. If you can hate everything else about yeah. that, but so are so are a lot of con men, Kevin. I'm not saying that. No, that's why I said. So yeah, but that, but it's but it doesn't. into your Walt rant again with politics. I said take politics off the table. So I'm Bill Clinton. Here's skill sets. Here are skill sets. Just skill sets. That's it. No politics. Just two guys that aren't identifying with anything. Just their natural skill sets. There's no way that man beats Obama in a debate and in, in a, pr a presentation of things. There's there's just no way. What and one thing? I, the reason I think a guy like Trump is in office is because people got tired of being PC to death. I think that's one big reason why he won. They got tired of it. You got tired of saying you have to dance around this, you have to dance around that. They appreciated a guy that would just come speak his mind. And let's the 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 option we had on the other side. You know, I mean, yeah. I think so. OK, let me ask you this, Kevin. Um, I, I mean, you, you know, if you want to be private on this, you can absolutely be private on it. Did you vote for Obama? Yes, you did. OK, um, when you voted for him, were you a gun guy? Yes, I was. OK, so you voted for him because what? Because the first time when Obama, the, the first time he came around, I will say that he he bamboozled me. Uh, when it came to the the gun stuff, because if you remember the first time around, it wasn't he didn't talk about guns. If you really go back to it, he did. If you if you really pay attention, he did not talk about guns. And every time I tried to read an article, now you're also talking about a guy that was, uh, you know. I, don't I mean, know. you could say, you could say if no, you voted, it's just I didn't I didn't him because it, it because he could be the first black president. You could tell us. I won't no, no, hold no, it. That was I won't hold it against you. That was definitely one of the reasons. Please don't get it confused. But you still have to earn my vote. Now that's mm -hmm. why I paid attention to him. Now you have to yeah. earn my vote. And every right. time I heard him speak, and who was he going against the first time? Was that uh, Mitt? Was Mitt the first time? Romney, no, he went, no, against, McCain. Time. He went against McCain. He went against McCain. Yeah. yeah. McCain? Yep. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, it was just the way he presented things, the way he said he was going to bring it about. He didn't talk about infringing on our freedoms. I didn't find him. And really throughout the first cycle until like year three, I didn't see a lot of it. And then, boy, around the time it, time, it got time to ramp up for the reelection. That's when all the evil deeds that I saw started coming out. So that's when okay. I. Became so very... did you vote for him the second time around? No, the second time I went uh, down the middle. I think yeah. I went independent the second time. Uh, only you went because... independent. No. Mm -hmm. I went independent this time. 
Okay, you didn't want to. You didn't want to vote for Romney either. No. Well, yeah. No. So the, first of all, thanks for being honest with yeah. us. You know, I just I just wanted to to try to um, get that out here a little bit, and and I kind of agree with you. I don't think anyone could say that Obama didn't have the pol political skills. Well, but that's still, the one thing that he has. I mean, I think short of uh, like the person that I've seen president wise that that maybe had more political kind of like prowess and skills like him. And I think you were right that um, in in House of Cards, what's his name was playing kind of like a Clinton role or something. Right. Uh, yeah. He, I know he's I know he was a, in Kevin Spacey is a Democrat in House of Cards. No, no, no. He's a Dem I'm not sure if he's a Democrat or a Repo no, he's a Democrat. Republican. I know he's playing someone from the South or whatever, yeah. but I'm not sure what political party. But I think Clinton had a lot of skills, but Obama had the ability to get out there and talk to people and bamboozle them. It wasn't just you. It, the people who elected Obama were white people, women, white women elected him. Because there was going to be change. He was going to make, you and know, he, and he convinced those and he convinced people. He's going to make the races love each other and. Yeah. And, and all this this fairy tale of you know yeah. we're no, all and he also had superpowers like he could capture flies with his he with his, with he his speeding separated. hands and all that kind of stuff yeah. I mean, he has superpowers all right but you know what's undeniable is that the potential was there i think <laughs> that he, mis well, he misused the potential if you had yeah, an I, think, I think i think once again we're missing the we're missing like the thing that these are politicians and yeah. they're put up there by the by the you know, one of the problems in America is the freaking two party system. And it's either Republicans or Democrats putting people up and then we're just going along for it. And in our minds, we're like, you know, we're voting or not voting. Like I vote about guns and I think, OK, I'm not going to vote for this guy because this guy's going to definitely want to take guns away from me. So I'm not going to vote for them, you know, yeah, um, and, and then people vote for other things. You know, I think we're all voting against our interests. I think um, in the black community, it happens. Black people are voting against their interests. They go to church. You know, they, they say they want to be free, but then they go vote for people who are like, yeah, we're going to take away the Second Amendment from you because you don't need it. Well, if they someone's taking away home. the Second Amendment from you, they are planning on making you a slave. But when, but when McCain was running, I remember people like Whoopi Goldberg saying, oh, if, if you vote for McCain, if McCain becomes president, we'll be back in slavery. And so uh, we're voting for all these stupid things floating. Yeah, yes, yes Whoopi that's Goldberg said that. That's so, so ignorant. But they yeah. listen to this stuff and they go, oh, my God, Whoopi says this. Oh, yeah. what, what? But we get we what the point I'm trying to make, Whoopi we get Goldberg. so yeah, Whoopi Goldberg we get twisted by stuff because I think she because like McCain supposedly way back in the days, people in his family, they own slaves. But here's the funny thing um, on, on Obama's white side, they own slaves. And on his African side, they own slaves because they sold slaves. I was going to say they probably <laughs> sold them. <laughs> Who and we get we get twi I I know I get it, but we it get matter. twisted by all of that. You know, if 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 I found out that your 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 family shot white people over in South America when they lived down there, you think I would really give a shit? I, that, I'm not dealing with that. I'm dealing with you. Okay, so right. what what the hell difference does it make? Well, it depends on it depends on how you look. So we we kind of got a few different subjects going on. So to 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 kind of uh, you know hone it in when it comes to the. I think we all can agree that, um, yeah, in, uh, Obama with some of the things that he backed, we can, we can talk about a lot of things good and bad. I don't think the guy was overall um, coming into the office as far as any politician goes. Because I don't, let me just say this, I don't believe you should ever, and I tell people this all the time, I don't ever give one man that kind of power over me where he can force me to go out and, and totally back him and get upset with everybody over him and things like that. I just don't think you should give any of your that much of your power and your influence to one person. I just don't. Um, two, I do think that when it comes to the the subject that we were talking about, you know, who owns slaves, who 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 owns this, who owns that. It, two, you have to understand the some of the historical implications of it because this is where I tell people, when we say as Americans, we say 1776, everybody gets it right. We don't forget 1776 because every single time somebody starts talking about taking our gun rights away, somebody somewhere has got a shirt on that says 1776. You know, they remind you of a history. You know, we understand that if you don't pay attention to your history, you're doomed to repeat it. Mm -hmm. Right. But when it comes to people and their heritage being assaulted, we want to ignore that and say they don't have a right to pay attention to that. You have every right in the world to pay attention to it. Now, 
once you paid attention to it, it's up to you to own what happened, address how you feel about it, understand that that's not the current America or the current day you live in. Oh, okay. yeah, there are some there are some generational effects for that. And to ignore that is silly. There are some things that happen to generations because you think about it for there are there are people that had nothing of all kind of shades and colors around this country and around this world that built themselves from nothing. I think we all can agree there's no argument there. Right. But there are also people who would have had better opportunities and had generational wealth and things like that if their generations wouldn't have been eliminated. So that's something else to consider. We never tell. The, well, yeah, so this is I'm sorry, I'm just trying to um, and I know Babyface is trying to say something. So I hope you remember what you're trying to say. Patrick. I'm not trying to say anything. I'm working on a gun. Right oh, now. oh, Lolo I'm was saying that you were trying to say something. Now so I'm listening. When, when you say this, you're talking about there's people that have generational effects because other people, other people's ancestors own slaves. Is that what you're saying? What I'm what I'm saying is this. Mm -hmm. I agree with the point you shouldn't what, what Walt said. You shouldn't be like cursing him out because of what his granddad did. I'm totally with yeah. that, right? But, that had yeah. nothing to do with him. Yeah. You, you, why, why are you mad at him, right? Yeah, uh, Walter, yeah, I don't think yeah, Walter's family, Walter's like uh are you first generation American, Walter? Yes, I am. Yes, I yeah, am. so so we definitely can't well, put that on him. But now. we're so we're talking about when we go back. <laughs> we can't put that on him. We'll put we'll find somebody else. <laughs> no, I just want to make sure we de we delete Walter from this. <laughs> yeah, no, no, we're talking that. about like black <laughs> Americans that have ancestors that go back to slavery here in America. I have ancestors that go back to slavery in Guyana in the Caribbean, but not, um, and, and, and you, what, I'm, what I'm saying is that that is, that is, I'm not saying it's all fine and dandy. What I'm saying is we do people a disservice. And that's why I bring up 1776, just like we say, we won't forget that. And just like, um, Jewish people won't forget the Holocaust. You can't tell any culture that was enslaved to forget it. Now, what you can say is because that's, that's, that's an insult to who they are. And when you start looking at certain things, the way things, the way people are affected, Yes, things went left for a lot of people that could have had different opportunities. Now, where you start debating with people is this. I don't want to hear you say you're not going to get up and work your hiney off because of what happened 70 years ago. I'm not interested in that. I'm interested in what happened and since you've been here and what are you trying to do to correct it? So we understand it. We don't erase it. We embrace it for what it is. And then we take it yeah. that is part of our history and then we build. But you can't use what happened you, you as an individual, the guy or girl that's sitting on their bottom, that won't go get a job, that <laughs> won't, you know, get out and try to hustle hard, can't say, well, I read this book and it told me about this horrible history. So, you know. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. So what's the reason I, I can't I can't get ahead because because 150 years ago, somebody oppressed somebody. That's no excuse. Sorry, I, I don't. No, that, so, you so, can't so, I mean, sla slavery. So like if we're talking about slavery, um, because slavery um, goes, you know. Um, yeah. By the way, let me let me let's just stop for a second. Real cool. Joe gave us twenty bucks so we could go Whoa. to the HK booth at Shot Joe. Uh, <laughs> thanks, yes. but that's really messed up. Now I have to go to the HK booth. Um, so thanks for that. But here's the thing. So yeah, you're probably talking about um, segregation being seventy years ago. Slavery was ended a lot longer ago than that. Racism. Racism, by the way, will never end. Racism will never end. It How about never, World War II? It, huh? How about all the people like my 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 dad's family that got thrown out of their house where they lived and shipped off to a German labor camp, and and you know and then waited you know years and years and years and displaced person as they used to call it before they got the fancy name like refugee camp to come over here. Yeah. You know that that's I mean yes everybody has a story that was in Europe everybody yeah. was oppressed. Right. Now, everybody what, got, but what I will what I will say is this and and, and this is the flat out truth. For all those stories, you're right. Like what happened to your family sucks, right? And when we talk about that, nobody that I've heard, now you you lived it personally or your family did, so yeah. forgive me if I'm wrong with what I'm saying, but nobody ultimately stands up and tells um, people that were exiled from other countries to get over it. I think what's happened with um, the slave, and I've read about this in other countries where slavery happened, you know, because every civilization has had a form of slavery. Mm -hmm. And what's told now currently though is, get over it. You And you can't tell people to get over it. I'm not going to give over the fact that, you know, my family history has been somewhat erased and I can't really trace it back as far as some other people can. Okay. So, uh, yeah. you, can't, you can't tell, I'm sorry, but you can't tell people overall, and I'm not saying Walter saying this, I'm saying overall, America has too long told people to forget it, forget slavery, but we don't tell 
every other community to forget the tragedies and atrocities that happened to them. I think where the argument comes in at is when people take advantage of it, when you're able to say, oh, you know what? I'm going to take this conversation and I'm going to say I'm not going to work hard and I'm not going to try to progress because I was born with a handicap. What I like to tell people is. Um, well, OK, so yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm not trying to like um, cut you off. I, I did want to let you say that because I appreciate your perspective on it. Right. Yeah. Um, but here's the thing I want to say. People are using it. One, people are using um, there are people using what happened as a crutch. Yes. OK, I but agree. two, I, I don't. You know, I don't think people sh I'm not I'm not trying to say people should forget what happened in history either. But you see, you can't be myopic with history as well. You can't sit there and look at history and go, I'm going to use this as a crutch that my ancestors were slaves so that someone else has to do something for me or I'm going to be able to say forever. People are racist and that's why I don't have things mm -hmm. and then forget that the reality, like you're saying, you see, because because those people are conveniently forgetting that what happened in slavery to people like me and you, Kevin, even though your ancestors are slaves here in America and mine are ans uh, my ancestors are, uh, were slaves in the Caribbean, they were sold by Africans into slavery, my friend. Oh, yeah, that is okay. They were yeah. sold by other black people into slavery. White, mm -hmm. The white man did not come to Africa with all those <laughs> badass African dudes walking around with Mandingo muscles <laughs> and everything else and just kidnap people at will. That was a very, what you saw in Roots, and, I've, and I read all of Roots and all of that kind of stuff, that is a tiny percentage, like 1% or less of what happened. Most of us that have ancestors or slaves, if you do a genetic test, you're gonna trace your, your blackness, your African ancestors back to uh, West Africa, places like Ghana, Nigeria, and Ghanaians, because in that time, it was called the Kingdom of Ghana, Lola's from Ghana. Her people took their own people and sold them into slavery, my friend. So mm -hmm. you can't, you cannot look at history in a myopic way. So you can't just be mad of this thing that happened. And I'm not trying to erase it to anyone out there that thinks like, oh, I'm trying to forget that that slavery happened. Slavery happened, and then and then and and the slaves were treated incredibly, incredibly badly in America. People were hung, all kinds of stuff. I get it. I understand it. I am descendant of slaves, but this is, if you really want to not forget things, if you really want to look at history, look at the entirety of history, and then realize that this is how human beings treat human beings. And it's still going on today. Yes, we still have slavery today. We, we could go look up a videos of Africans selling other Africans or Saudi Arabians selling Africans. Why don't we go over there and drop bombs on their asses if, we so, if we're so mad about slavery? Why don't we do something about it? So like what I'm saying is partly what you're saying that you shouldn't use it as a crutch and mm -hmm. use that as a reason not to work hard. I didn't, and I didn't. also if you never want to be back there, do not give up your gun rights. Yeah, right. Well, yeah, I mean, and I wasn't I wasn't saying to forget it. I was just saying don't use it as an excuse for what might be happening to you today. Uh, like you said, your lack of your lack of um, inhibition to go out and change things. But listen, and there are bad things, by the way, right? There are bad things that are happening today, but the bad things are happening to lots of people. Um, and, and maybe bad things are happening disproportionately to some people. And you should take responsibility for that. Like, I think people out there need to take responsibility. If you think, if you're not happy with what's going on with the police in your neighborhood, regardless of who you are, and you don't like what the police is doing, you go become a police officer. And or, see if you'll never have the, a, a reason to have to shoot someone. Or, 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 right, 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 right. Once you see the other side of the story. Yeah. You know, uh, but but take responsibility for your community, okay? Because, hey, hey, I mean. Hey, you stop yelling and you waving my baby. She waved at you. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I did. Okay. First of all, I did see the cuteness come on the set. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. So, how are you doing, cuteness? How's everything? Yes, yeah, so how are you doing? Yeah, okay. You're doing good? Okay. Okay. I apologize. I know this is looking kind of bad right now if you came Look, into this. Are, 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 you looking forward, are you looking forward to Christmas? Are you looking yeah. Forward? What, what, what is your dad getting you for Christmas? <laughs> yeah. What am I getting you for Christmas? Uh, a new iPad. Take your Whoa! <laughs> oh my God. You went deep. A new iPad. You get an iPad. Really? I mean the tablet. <laughs> really? I like that oh. reaction. <laughs> Wait, now you went to a tablet. Are you getting an iPad or just or, or Android I tablet? 
the iPhone out. Oh my goodness. Jesus. You know what? You got to go. Because we're not, we're not an Android family. I don't even understand why you were over here saying that. Give me some come back in a minute. Right? I'm like, uh, mm, Somebody, mm, someone has brainwashed her when it comes to uh, the Apple products. Uh, we, are, <laughs> we are an Android family, I have you. Oh, really? Well, not according to her, man. You <laughs> right. are pressing her <laughs> with your Android devices. You know. right. Continue on your, your splurge, sir. No, I, look, I was just saying that I think we need to take responsibility for everything. And, and I think that goes in general. That goes with what's going on in politics. If we know in America that we should never give up certain rights, why are we in this thing where like we're afraid of like, oh, my God, I got to vote for this guy, even though I don't really like him because, you know, the gun thing or this thing. I think that this, this is getting a little crazy, man. And 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 it's getting schizophrenic and the and the. Um, the pendulum is swinging from one side to another. And I think the worst thing, I'm telling you, the worst thing to happen is for people to lose their gun rights. That's the way I feel about that. Walter said this, um, I think on Monday, that as a manufacturer, it would be awesome. You could sell, he could, he could just sell every gun he made right now. Mm -hmm. You know, if, um, if oh, yeah. rewind and go back to Hillary being president, right? That was on the Hillary plan. Yeah, it'd be crazy busy. Yeah, but, I, but Walter said he didn't want it. No, nope. I don't want it. Do you want it? None of us should want that. No, That's not the, but, but we're, we're in this thing where we're constantly like these, the, the Republicans, for crying out loud, the Republicans had a super majority and they still do. They didn't do shit. <laughs> they still do have a super majority. Like right now, it, they control Congress, they control the Senate. And, and their still, asses are still talking about, we're gonna, we, we'll do some stuff in the midterm. And still, and it's going to get worse by then. And they still have, they act like they have to negotiate with the Democrats. What the fuck? You don't have to negotiate. No. Sorry. But so what are they doing then? So what are they doing? Why don't they just like, why do, instead of like mixing up bills, why don't they just put reciprocity on Trump's desk? If they want to do a Knicks fix, just freaking put it on his desk. If they, if they want to do, if they want to do taxes, just put a thing on his desk. They don't want to. You know, they want to fix uh, health. I could tell you something about health care, man. The thing that like the hell out of it. The thing that to me, the one of the I, I think Obama did a lot of like craziness, right? But to me, the worst thing that he did was healthcare. That was the biggest, you know. And I'm not. I know he, he he gets the name for it, but he doesn't get the thing alone. It's him yeah. and it's Democrats and there's Republicans who went along with that shit. There's that's nothing about healthcare. It's about control, being able to tell you what you can do, when you can do it, who you can see, who you can't see. You're going to pay more because you don't follow our rules. All that bullshit. Yeah. You know, the best thing that could happen to healthcare is the government gets completely out of it. I don't want to revamped or redone healthcare. I want them out. Completely. So like Mr. Holster just says, the Republicans are a bunch of con men like the Democrats. And what I'm saying, like, you know, this, this is all bullshit, man. I think at some point people in America should just get mad about this. And, and, and th this system that we have is bullshit. But why do you, you think know. people? Why do you think people? Maybe and maybe maybe I'm gonna I'm gonna focus this on Walt for a second because I got a okay. feeling he, he studied it. Why? But besides, we generally think Dems are anti, uh, Republicans are pro. Why do we automatically associate Republican with guns? Like, where did that come from? Um, that's a good question. Well, yeah, all of this is flipped. If you remember, if you go look, look I was looking at James Bond movie. <laughs> Um, I forget which I was looking at. Um, what, what James Bond movie? I was I was looking at. Um, damn it! I think I was looking at one of the Roger Moore things. And the, you know that you know there's these James Bond movies with the like with the country sheriff, like the redneck sheriff dude. In like the seventies James Bond movies, and no. there was this sheriff who was like, um, <clears throat> if, if you remember back to oh man, which is the one like Live and Let Die. And all those things, there was a sheriff that was in there, and so he was threw out some of these movies. And 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 this particular one, him and his wife were on vacation in like Malaysia or something, right? And he said something about how he's a Democrat. And the reason why I'm saying this to you, he was like supposed to be a redneck, all about guns and all that in the country, and he was a Democrat. What people don't realize is that all of this has switched around over time. Republicans were the ones that wanted to free black people. But today, it looks like Democrats were the ones that wanted to free black people. Democrats mm -hmm. were the ones that wanted to keep slavery. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. And who wanted to have guns. And I think, you know, and, and then today, everything is switched around to where Democrats are like, yeah, we don't think people really need to have guns. 
And I think in the end of it, when you look at these two parties, they've switched around and interchanged so much that why are we thinking that they're anything different from each other? Well, I, I just, I personally think- I mean, we, are they really different? I, I say vote for the issues, man. I Like I said, I don't put my, I don't put my power in that much. When, you know, when I sit down and have a conversation with a person, I have a conversation with that person. Um, and I don't think like that's, nobody can just run up on me and say, especially now, right after the last year or so and these different changes with Republicans, nobody can just run up me and say, I'm a Republican, vote for me. No, I, I still want you to, t you need to earn my vote. I yeah, need we need to question them. Yeah, um, um, Tyvin you're, Show you're, gave you're, us five bucks. Tyvin says, I agree with everything Hank said and his perspective. And this is why I respect Hank. Okay, Tyvin, I will give you, I will triple your money back. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not getting no money back, Tyvin. Thank you, though. <laughs> yeah, I think I agree with you, right? Like when we come across people, we need to challenge them, but they can lie to us. Yeah, you you can't get lied to. You know, and they you're can politician. bamboozle us. And I think, I'm telling you right now, I think... I'm not gonna mess, I'm not gonna put this on Trump to, out of fairness. I put this on Republicans. They have not put anything from for us as gun guys. They haven't put anything on Trump's table. But for America, they haven't put health care on the table. They're still trying to put tax. They forgot about health care. They're over that shit. Yeah, they're right? probably they're, they're trying over to find it. Win somewhere. But it's still getting bad. It's getting like when you see like CVS is buying Aetna, shit is about to get fucked up. You under um, do, I don't think people understand. I saw a show one time about the insurance industry and how much they control and how much money they have. Too much. The insurance, the insurance companies run the country. Yeah, they do completely. Yeah, massive, massive amounts of real estate, massive amounts of money, massive influence in their fingers and all these different. How does a drugstore? And I see CVS as a drugstore company. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I. Maybe I'm no, they behind. are, but you know why they bought Aetna, right? You know why they bought Aetna. This is how they're gaming healthcare. They know healthcare is. They know what we don't know. They know healthcare is not changing. They know uh, what we. They, I think. I think you're going to see change. It has to change. Mm, it's it not. Change. It's not, dude. They are not even talking about it anymore. They're on to taxes. It's. They're on to taxes. They're. they're, they're look. There's how many suppressor companies have already gone out of business or been sold because we all believe one day suppressors are coming on off the NFL. That's, that's not that's 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 putting your hope in 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 maybes. Oh, look at that. That pretty as a together. Yeah. I'm interrupting right now. This is what I've been pissing around with. So Archangel, yes. and Archangel many times. being a, a dick over there. <laughs> yes. Archangel, what did he say? What did he say? He says, can Patrick R put down the gun and take his meds? Oh, wait. That's <laughs> <laughs> At least he's not racking the slide monster. Like he's totally right because I felt like slap. If I was like, I wish there was a button on here to slap the shit out of baby face right now. Smack. It's together. <laughs> because you know what's funny? You put, you, you muted your chant, you muted your thing, and then you took the mute off. And then just went to, more crazy. Uh huh. So it's we gotta try it now. The barrel's still bulged, so that oh that thing, yep. Barrel's still bulged yeah. though, so it's gonna MW be. MW Tactical just gave us five bucks. He said, "I always said you can't have the First Amendment without the Second Amendment, but politicians are not for the people. It's about personal gain now." Yeah, sure. I mean, I can agree with that. What What are you worth? What is your vote worth? That's like, exactly what am I willing to trade you for? Look at Look at um Look at Obama. When he got when he when he was a senator, if you call him that, he barely showed up to vote. He barely did anything, really. He had no experience at anything besides collecting votes and being a community organizer. No, he got that card in the Monopoly game that said, you go straight to but, president. But Obama, I, you know, Obama was the perfect, and I'm going to use this time, he's the perfect, he was a perfect black candidate. Yeah, no, I, I agree. He wasn't, he wasn't a Jesse James where he went around, you know. Uh, you mean Jackson? Jesse Jackson, Jesse Jackson. Jesse Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> Don't yeah, yeah, make yeah, Jesse yeah. Jackson come here and cut your nuts off. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. He wasn't. He wasn't an Al Sharpton. He wasn't a Jesse Jackson. Um, you know, in the Rainbow mm -hmm. Coalition. True. Um, I think that's true. Yeah. He was the perfect. His both of his parents were dead. The the white mother was dead. The the African father was dead. Um, so there was none of that imperial. There was going to be none of this family craziness. That like Jimmy Carter's brother, remember that? Or are you too young to remember that? No, I remember the drunk, the drunk brother, that kind of thing. <laughs> um, yeah. So the, the, there wasn't going to be the crazy African dad yeah. running. Um, the reels eight oh eight says Obama is half white. People forget it. 
Forget yeah, see, the problem, yeah, the problem is but, his brother is still when alive. Yeah, but, okay, but let me just say this before Kevin says it. Um, I'm going to tell you something right now. I am half black and half Indian or, or almost, and I have some other things. And when I say it to you guys, you get mad. In the end, it doesn't matter. You could be half black, quarter black. If you black. look black, you are black, son. Black, period. <laughs> that's just the way it works. Well, the that's, only that's, people that's, who can maybe get away with that is like Mariah Carey, that no one knows she's yeah, black. That's another subject. Or, or Ben Diesel, that no one knows he's black Thanks. or rock Thanks, or Steph, something no. like that. Don't let him t tell you anything different. He'll shank you when you ain't looking. <laughs> you got that thuggy blood. Yeah, that's a whole other subject there. <laughs> but um, So he was the perfect candidate for that that time or that or that position or that – or that race. Because, I think, no, I I think, think there was never there was never in American history anything more perfect than Obama, man. It but, was but, like yeah, it was right. like the man, it was the like self-lubed. The man had no person no personal wealth at all, nothing, zero. Didn't own a house, never owned a house of his own. Always been living in somebody else's space, I think, or something. If I, was right. I, thought, him, I thought him and Michelle, they owned a house. <laughs> They own the house yeah. in uh in in Chicago. Yeah, they're, they're well, remember that was the house that the guy that one of the guys yeah, took, like, gave one, him of, one of the one of the Clinton financiers gave him a loan for nothing. Yeah, so they Basically, can buy the house. So, so, so they can buy so the what, property. What I'm getting at here, buy the house. Mm -hmm. what, what I'm getting at here, his whole candidacy, his whole being in the presidency was financed and propped up and can i tell you? Up. Can I tell you a little secret, Walter? Illuminati. Yeah. Ill, no, Illuminati. <laughs> They run everything. Hank knows. The, the, that was something where the Illuminati had the meeting. The Illuminati probably doesn't get, they get together like once every hundred years. Quarter century. Yeah. yeah. Once every they, get together, years. they got together and they were like, this dude. Guys, this needs to happen. This is the president. This is the next president. <laughs> no, but what they've done, what they've done is they've pissed off and agitated the, the people who actually vote. And that's why you got you got you got you got Trump because people are tired of everybody apologizing every five minutes. <laughs> I said way before the election, the first person that comes out and says what's on his mind and doesn't apologize every five minutes for everything he misspoke about, he'll be the president. And sure enough, look, boom. I uh, yeah, people people were tired of the PC culture. And that's, that's, that's why I think. Yeah, that, that's yeah, why I think uh, yeah. Brian Quick says so. If half black, half white, people only claim the black identity. Right. That's the that, What's that's all this true. white privilege bullshit? Oh yeah, that's right. It doesn't exist. No, I think I'm not saying that people claim it. I'm saying that people aren't going to go for that. Like if I try to tell people I'm Indian, they don't go for that <laughs> shit. My mother yeah. is Indian. No, I think I, you can I, even say in some places like you are whatever your mother is. Yeah, you're which if, you if, are if that, Indian then. If that was but if that was the case, then Obama would be a white guy. But well, but Obama was but when, white. But when there's black in the mix, this is the <laughs> thing that I'm. I'm. You know, people may not like to hear this, but when there's black in the mix, if you're black, dude, it doesn't matter if you. You know, if it's recognizable, people are gonna people are gonna claim that. Um, you know, unless, like I said, unless you're like Mariah Carey, who's black, or is she half um, black? Uh, yeah, I had you no know, idea. Or Vin Diesel. You got some light skin. I, I yeah. want to see some guns. Anybody want to see some guns? Are, we at, are they people calling for Gorn? Oh, now you want to? I'm what, tired what? of talking about this stuff. Let's talk about. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how. I don't know how we wound up here, but you. But whatever. I want to say. I want to say to Kevin is I. I don't. I don't think you should forget about where you come from or how you got there. But um, Jesus, there's more. What the hell? What why the, the hell are you getting? Up? Wait, where's Peggy going? Yeah. Peggy, don't try to sneak out. Oh. Too much food. What is? Oh, that's, all that that's cake. Oh, Patrick, that's that brownie stuff that I got. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. <laughs> this is oh, like... I haven't gotten any kind of meat in the mail, by the way. I, I, you want Walter's meat in the mail? That's you haven't got meat. a mail with some meat? Hey. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about that. Is, um, <laughs> you bastards. You okay? No, Walter got... Okay, I don't know if you know this, Kevin, but Walter sold a gun or, ex or bought yeah, a gun for a bunch of meat. Yeah, here's, I was not sure when he talked about it. No, no, here's what happened, Kevin. Here's what happened. I had a customer call. He wanted to get a bipod, one of my bipods, and a stock. Mm -hmm. And he's talking to Peggy and asked if he want, if I'd be interested in doing some like bartering for some food. So she gave the phone to me, and I'm talking to him. And he's a chef. Oh, look at that bulge! Yeah, you got a bulge that in bulge. your girl. Um, mm. So burl. I said after he uh, talked to me, you know, uh, Kevin and I know about bulges in our burls. 
<laughs> you I guys, think you, you, guys you guys don't know. You guys can figure it out why. I think <laughs> you sorry. need to see a medical doctor if there's a bulge in your barrel. <laughs> <laughs> does, your stay, does your barrel stay bulged for more than four hours at a time? Yeah, yeah you need to go have some. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. so, long story short, Kevin, um, I told him I was like a meat and potatoes guy, and I said, surprise me. I'll, I'll do some swapping with you. He shows up in his car, his trunk, and he's got a, a, a mid-size car. The trunk is full front to back with cases of like commercial type meat, like prime rib and and bacon and all frozen still from when he left his where he was. He was in St. Augustine and I live in, in near Tampa. So that's a three and a half hour drive. Oh, wow. He decided he wanted to come down that day. He showed up right before Babyface got there. And um, and I mean, he had stuff in his back seat. His back seat was full. I had I had. <laughs> I've got a freezer full. I got a house freezer full and a freezer in my in my shed. The shop freezer is full. My son Will took home a bunch. Chris Machinist took home a bunch. And Austin, the other kid that works for me, took home a bunch. So and part of this was this brownie thing, which is like it's like freaking awesome. And and um yeah, okay, congratulations to you and your brownie and all your your meats, your assorted meats and everything. But if someone bring in some of this, okay, am I, I getting some of these meats? Let's. I got a Can question. I get some steaks? Can I, I get some for you guys? What? Since Robert Harris threw out the word, how do you guys feel about McRibs? I'll tell you my opinion if you want me to go first. Uh, uh, I don't like. I don't eat pork. So. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. About what? The McRib. McRib. The McDonald's. Go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead baby face. I'll tell I, you. How I, I think. love them. I absolutely yeah. love them. I love them too. Okay, I was gonna okay, say. They what are about a you, Kevin? Special. You know, I I just there. It's not. I don't know. It's not real. It is the sauce on it is tasty. I admit, but I probably bit. I probably had a McRib in the last seven years. Oh man! Every time they come around, I get at least one. I know. I know it's fake meat. <laughs> and, I, and I I know all what that. What does that mean? What is it then? It, it's not real pork. I mean, pork it's, is like the like, cheapest meat. They probably it's have like TVP meat. mixed in or some crap. I, you know what I used to call it? Um, what is that? That the uh, tofu. I was like, it's like yeah. flavored tofu. Oh, no, yeah. that's what I thought, man. Like this ain't yeah. real. I don't know what this is, but yeah. yeah so I was, Will, like Will Killer Keller says meat mail, and I, I'm I'm seriously yeah. though, I'm not getting. <laughs> this is messed up. By the way, Patrick Babyface got some of the meats, but none of that meats when it got to Gainesville wound up at my had, house. I had a uh, I, I got a, a cake, and that was delicious. Wait, so you got a cake. Did any of this cake come to the Hacienda? That's what I'm asking. I, I've been in North Carolina since I, since I got No, the cake. don't lie. Don't lie. Don't lie. I saw you before you went. Cal L says the McRib is ground up mattress. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably people. I got to have, yeah. I gotta have a McRib and yeah. I got to have a... Um, uh, a shamrock shake when they come out. Those two. I never had one of those. I never even heard of a shamrock. Who the hell makes a shamrock shake? It's just a shake with with some, I guess, pepper. McDonald's pepper. makes that? <laughs> McDonald's, yeah. And it's, well, it's green colored. That's I green. mean, but by the way, uh, first of all, I'm lactose intolerant as well. Oh, man, but, you can't have either of these. No, but let me tell you something. I violate that for a vanilla milkshake every now and then, man. McDonald's vanilla. I don't know what the hell they put in it. it it's do. something about the powder or whatever. I was watching this this movie about McDonald's, and they actually like used the powder. That was and the then, old stuff. Yeah, that was it. That was that mixture that that. Uh, I think there's still some of that in there because nothing else tastes like a uh, McDonald's vanilla well, milkshake. For example, nothing, the Diet Coke at McDonald's only tastes it like it does at McDonald's. It doesn't taste any the same way anywhere else. Uh, well, I I read online the other day why that is. Right. So rat poison. No, no, <laughs> they have gotten together with Coca Cola and have set up every McDonald's specifically for like soda fountains. So all of the water is run through. And I, I shit you not. I am not a McDonald's chill. <laughs> I just watched a video on it like a week ago. Uh, all the water is run through like a filter. Um, and then it's mi mixed in the back and then typed up to the front like right. cold. So it's always cold. Like they, they have it down to the science. Like, They're probably they still putting a little cup. bit of cocaine in there. That's right. That's how they get you to come back. Yeah. But oh, I, won't, I won't drink anything that's <laughs> diet anything. So whatever. Yeah, I don't drink diet either. I don't like diet. Yeah. By the way, uh, Jay Tomer says, um, I'm self-employed and Obamacare is financially crushing my family. We just got yes. another premium increase and are seriously considering dropping health insurance. We just can't when, afford it. When, yeah. when that whole thing started, we, we bought our own insurance. Because we you know we have our own thing, we had buyer's own insurance, and it steadily went up every time. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, you're going to save money. You're going to do this. Yeah, you're going to save nothing. 
boom, 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 higher, 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 higher. And it's like, and then they charge, then you, then you get, then you get taxed 700 and something, $50 a year. If you're not part of the, part of their plan, Yeah. yeah which is, there is no plan. I know somebody that got injured. He's a gun guy and he got hurt with his thumb or something. He calls to get something like a referral or something and they never got a call back. You know, it never, you know, it was just, it's a, yeah, it's healthcare is getting bad. I mean, um, I'm on Lola's thing and Lola works for a hospital and it's gotten worse every single freaking year. I would imagine she should be getting good health. Mm, no, no, That's because you remember, remember how they said they were going to kill what they call the Cadillac plans. So because I have Crohn's and I've had it for a long time, she always paid more and got a, a, like a premium health care thing. Well, now she cannot. They, the option's dead. See, that's bullshit. That, that's yeah. crap. The government needs to be completely out of. That's 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 sticking their nose right up your backside and telling you what you can and you can't do. Yeah. That's, Scamp that's 900 crap. says, Hank, no bacon and lactose intolerant. Yeah. If you thought like if you thought I had tactical fat now, if I was like. <laughs> if I was eating that for you. Huh? Bacon is not that bad for you. People make it out like it's some kind of poison. It, 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 yeah, sure. If you eat a pound a day, yeah, that'd be a poison. But yeah. Um, how, how many? I, I saw you eat breakfast, Walter. You could get this. <laughs> we also think, walked about five miles that day, didn't we? Yeah, but I uh, don't well, um, yeah. Now, here's I got to have some fuel and I'm going to go walk, walk like that. Sorry. Here's the question. Now, I, I normally have um, two strips of bacon every morning. I, I like me some bacon. Now, here's the question, though, for you bacon, for you bacon eaters. How do you like your bacon? You oh, get the we go. Or you crisp yeah. it up? No, I, I like my bacon cooked where it's firm, but not like crispy burnt. I don't like crispy. I like it a little bit on the softer side. Yeah, I like it squealing a little yeah. bit. Robert Harris says, "If loving yep. bacon is wrong, if loving bacon is wrong, then I don't want to be right." <laughs> <laughs> because a, a BLT is the most amazing thing. Hey, when you tell it right now, when I come down to Florida and you guys cook some bacon, take yours off, leave mine on. I need mine. I like want a crispy? Um, in my house, in my house, we <laughs> turkey bacon. So, oh, oh. Yeah, what is yeah. that though? I don't, I don't oh, know. Man. Just you never, like it, Kevin? You like it crispy? Meat. You like it crispy, but not burnt, right? I like it crispy. It doesn't. No, I don't like it necessarily burnt, but I do like it where I can grab it and just snap it. And it crack. Yeah, that's okay. too. That's too done for me. Um. Yeah. This you know what? My one of my one of my sons. Whenever he makes bacon, he burns it. Yeah, I don't know. And it annoys the crap out of me, but he likes it burnt. No, but that's how I like toast. By you mean the way, when he makes bacon, that should be against the law. Bacon, um, yeah, well, yes, he he does. Um, no, I don't. We don't have like pork bacon at the house. We only have uh, beef or turkey. Ugh. Oh, that's not bacon. Yeah. yeah, beef or turkey that bacon. But you got it. If you get he gets turkey. the he gets the real bacon when he goes to like Perkins. Think of the chemicals it needs to take it make. Turkey tastes like bacon. Yeah, yeah exactly. see, um, Alexander Blevy says, uh, Hank, try beef bacon. Beef bacon is not bad. No? No? no one out there for okay, what? but so here's the thing I agree with. I like, how do you like your toast? Because I like my toast burnt. Mm -hmm. I like my toast, again, it, just to where it's cr like crispy, but I don't want it burnt. Definitely nice and brown. Yeah, yeah, I brown want my toast, toast brown. Okay, yeah. but what brown? Do you want it like an Obama mocha shade of brown? <laughs> You know, or do you want it like a Wesley? Do you want it like a Wesley Snipes? Wesley brown? Snipes? That is that is straight burnt toast. <laughs> you know, actually, I think, I, I'm looking at Kevin. Kevin's the perfect toast brand. <laughs> Who? What are you? <laughs> that was a good toast cutter. Yeah, I could eat some Kevin toast. <laughs> oh my God, Babyface said he could eat Kevin toast. Oh we should. Lord. We need to get one. Of, have you seen those toasters that put like a face on your toast? We need a Kevin Toaster. You are out of your damn mind, Patrick. <laughs> you asked me what you were comparing it to skin tones, so. Oh, man. Okay, I'm now I'm Perfect Toast. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's your, your next login. Kevin, oh, Perfect boy. Toast. Anyone who's watching this nonsense right now is like, is this a, is this a freaking gun podcast or what? It's, it's, oh, wait, here. Okay, so there. Here we go. We need a little bit just to keep it real. We need some Gorn. What's this? <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Which gun? Oh, is this the arm pistol? It's arm pistol. Brought it home just for you. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's so beautiful. Where's my arm pistol, Walter? I haven't talked to that dude yet. So. For I got patience, patience, grasshopper. Patience. Yeah. Oh, you, you know what I like about you, Walter? It's easy for me to have patience when you have your arm pistol. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, Walter. Well, this, this is what I've learned about people. Say, okay, oh, look at that. Oh, what is Kevin? What is this Kevin? Hey, magazine? Ooh, beta mag on that thing. I like that magazine. Yeah, the beta mag. Look at the boobies on that thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was on that thing. Oh yeah. Is That's that a donk? 
That is a gun donk right there. Yeah, right. That, I'm telling you, that's a donk donk in, in all the states. <laughs> so what is this? A pistol? Is it a pistol? This, yeah, this, yeah, this Donald, Donovan's pistol. But uh, oh, speaking of which, Walter, where's those things you got? Are you talking about that? Oh, the 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 uh, tail hooks. Yeah. Um. Okay, I'll, I'll I'll talk about it, but let me talk about it with conditional talk. Okay. Uh oh. Boy. Uh oh. I don't like these conditions already, Walter. I do not like these. I got conditions. I got for everybody listening here. I got a box of a hundred tail hooks. Okay, I bought the box of a hundred tail hooks, so you know, um, some are going to be used on my stuff, and and some because I bought them like in OEM packaging, so they're not in they're not in they're just in a plastic bag. They're not in the typical Gearhead Works packaging. Some are going to be used on my stuff, and then some there'll be a few that'll be available for sale if somebody's looking for a tail hook. Um, just uh, message us or uh, email. They're not on the website yet, so don't look on the website. Um, if you're looking for one of those, they're gonna. I could do it for like, let's say like 110 in the OEM packaging, and they used to typically go for about 120. But um, so yeah, yes, I have tail hooks. So. Okay, but you're not like putting it. It's not out there yet. So you're just saying this to folks who are watching. You know, yeah, and, by, and by the way, guys, we should get thumbs ups just for that. We should get thumbs ups just for the fact that. Uh, you know, I mean, they're hard. To, they're kind of hard to find. That uh, Walter's got the inside track on some um, tail hooks. Uh, Babyface, what do you think about the tail hooks? I've never shot one, so I don't really have an opinion of them. Oh, you have They look one? cool, but yeah. I've never actually shot one. Oh, well, Walter stole mine, so I don't know when you're going to get it. Stole yours. Yeah. So, well, he did. Ask him. Walter, did you steal my, you really, my tail hook? You said, here, you can use it if you need it. That's All right, what, I, got a, I got a question. I never said that. You were over, you were out on the hacienda, and we were doing stuff, and you put it on something and never gave it back to me. All right, I got a question for uh, Gorillas and Guns. He needs to choose between a... Uh, International Harvester, Chevrolet, a Ford, uh, Ford F1 or Ford F100. He take his pick of the stamp he's going to get for his P300 pin that I have neglected to send out for like two weeks. Oh, by the <laughs> way, and while you're giving pen. away while you're giving away stuff to people, Lola said that there's someone who you promised a Glock keyring to. Did I? Who was that? I don't know. I sent, who was I that, sent something out to uh, uh, Tyven. Got his stickers. Lola, Lola promised you a keyring that, that needed the Glock. <laughs> Don't lie to me. Do not lie to me. The Glock key ring is supposed to go to Loafer, J Loafers. J Loafers. J okay, Loafers. Let me make a note, and I need to get your address, J Loafers. So yeah, I still have it sitting on his desk. Yeah, while you're giving out stuff, baby face. There you go. Yeah, let's see what Kevin's showing here. Kevin, what do you do? You know about the tail hook brace? Um, no, I know what it is, but I haven't shot it. Okay, Chevy. I haven't shot it. Yeah, okay. it's it's. The tail hook is I don't I, I should have brought one here home with me, but yeah. I once Kevin again, is I, holding this gun like the cuteness. This is disturbing to me. <laughs> you better not let the cuteness see this kind of craziness going on, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody was asking me if this was a full auto or open bolt. No, this is actually a semi auto M eleven. Um it's just SBR oh. with this stock on it. Um, have I shot this one? I think I shot this, right? I don't know if I've had this out of your place or not. Maybe I have. Um, I, it's kind of a work in progress. I need to I need to put some kind of sight on it, or a, or a base for a sight. I never got around to it, but it's just yeah. basically one of the ace stocks with a hinge. Just weld. I made a I made an attachment point on the back of the receiver, and um, then I kind of SBR it. So, um, just something I was yeah. playing with back a couple of years ago, and I got put okay. in the back of the safe and. Just got recently taken out. So. Yeah, very cool. Recall Junkie 1981 said, NOC, you um, you shocked me with awesomeness because living in communist California, I never see uh, such beauty. California is sad. <laughs> uh, and DC2 Mega Boost said, KD is rubbing that big sack. <laughs> he went, oh, what is Kevin showing us now? He's showing us video. <laughs> oh. okay, show that again, Kevin. Oh. And you're muted. All right. I'm, I, yeah, there we go. I'm showing you the... Walt just got through showing a semi-auto. I'm just showing you the full auto. Oh, cool. Very cool. Mac 10? Yep. Cool. Yeah, they're fun. Yeah, I think, um, didn't Ken from k and I think I did a video. Ken from k and Arms let me shoot. I think it was a Mac 10 that he had. I think so. What is this, Walter? Oh, you still have these iPhone cases? Yeah, I offered these the other night. Nobody even, at, they're for the, um, I got iPhone two. what, 7 or? Two for the six plus and one for the six. You guys okay, check the so, chat. 
There if anybody proof, me, message me. Um, I've got two in the chat two. right now in the in our chat that Kevin is the perfect shade of toast. Oh my gosh! It was not me this time. <laughs> it oh was not Lord. me. <laughs> oh, oh man. Lord! <laughs> what Let's happened? see. Let's see what's the fastest way I could do this. I'm just going to take a picture. Let's see if I can dump it in here and, and actually get everybody to see it. Or yeah. Possibly. So um, put it in the chat. Let me see if I could put it in the chat. All right, Kevin, I, I, I dumped it in the chat for everybody. Well, I think thanks, it'll work. Man, I appreciate it. I did. Should, let's see. Never, yeah. I can't, I'm not sure who made it. I didn't look. I didn't mean to get you in that kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Perfect shade of toast. Uh, <laughs> I, I, since Babyface is here, he, you know, he's the master of. <laughs> and for everyone who is watching, for people who are listening, basically what we're looking at here is a picture of Kevin <laughs> on how toast. We, how do we get oh, the on toast? So, so, so thinking this, thinking this new product that we're coming. I don't know out if he's through. the butter on the toast. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if he's the, actually the toast. Lord of Guns wants to slather me up with butter. Whoa! <laughs> what? Whoa. Hopefully he's pretty. Just yeah, really Florida guy says <laughs> some Kevin toast slathered up with butter. <laughs> okay, <laughs> my lord. For those who missed it, Hank Hank Strange was asking about skin tones compared to toast. No, I, I was no, I was asking. <laughs> I said, "How do you guys like your toast?" <laughs> talk about skin tones. Well, yeah, yeah, somehow we got into yeah. Somehow we got into skin tones. Yeah, I think I said, "Do you like it, Obama light, yes. or do you or, like or it, Wesley Snipes? Wesley Snipes dark." <laughs> I'm a and baby face said he likes it in the middle like uh, Kevin. No, I did I said, not. Like what? Kevin Dixie. No, I said that. I said that. <laughs> I'm just a meme generator, I guess. <laughs> hey, the, hey, might as well be you. I mean, who would have gone some Kevin Toast slathered up with butter? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> never thought you'd hear that in your life, did you? Kentucky, you're not sorry. You think it's funny. Don't, don't, don't try to apologize now. Baby, boy, baby face, I'll tell you. You, you. You know how you know how every once in a while, Lute, 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 but you started it though. Everything <laughs> is your fault. All the memes are my fault. Yeah, Mike Ludwikowski <laughs> says, "And jelly, and jelly." <laughs> Everything's baby's face damn fault. Did you? I don't, know? Do, I don't do jelly on my toes. This is your fault. Everything's your fault. <laughs> No jelly on my toes. breaks down and Walt and Kevin just gonna be like, baby yeah. face. So Mike Lu uh, Ludwikowski says, um, do you like strawberry or grape jelly, Kevin? <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> no. Yeah. Like, first of all, there is no right answer. If I say strawberry, then it's gonna be, oh, okay, then it'll be I'll smother it over the stuff. It's not, if I say great, it's going to have all kind of implications, and it's going to be smothered all over no. stuff. The, 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 the best jelly for toast, the best jelly for toast, hands down. Nobody's going to argue with me on this. Everyone's going to agree. If you say it's, no jelly, no jelly, marmalade, marmalade. Oh. I, I like what, what's I the difference? Peanut butter. peanut butter is good on toast. Yeah, gorillas and gr agrees. Uh, with you. I don't like my peanut butter on toast. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what do you, you like? Uh, your peanut butter on chocolate? Yeah. Uh, chocolate on your peanut butter. What blanket party? Why are people asking? <laughs> okay, Walter, I'm not answering that. <laughs> Do I want chocolate on my peanut butter or <laughs> peanut butter on my chocolate? No, I gotta ask. It's a little weird. <laughs> uh, someone, Lola said, someone out there wants to know. Someone okay. out there wants to know. Uh, orange marmalade is the most awesome thing. I'm just telling you right now. <laughs> All orange marmalade. You guys don't. If you, if, I don't know if you know about that in America. So I, I we actually think we have some in the fridge. I don't think I've ever eaten any. Oh, DP two mega boost cinnamon toast. You, uh, you, excellent. You tell them leave your daddy alone. Leave my daddy alone. Oh dear. Oh, we yes, have to lay off, guys. Oh. We really have yes, to lay off. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Why are you being mean to us? No, you mean. Yeah, you're being mean to us now. He told me to say that. Oh, do you <laughs> just do you just say things people tell oh, you to man. say? <laughs> uh you can you you um uh, you you tell um Hank that I'm I'm uh, more handsome than he is. Say your say my daddy looks better than you. My daddy um wait. There's too many words? No. Just say your daddy's handsome. No, it's just <laughs> I love it. My, da my daddy's handsome. Okay, right. yes, you you okay. You you got that. I'm not a piece of toast. <laughs> 
I'm not a piece of toast. She said you are. She said you are. There you go. She agreed with us on that one. I'm sorry. You can't take. You can't have both of those things. You get out of here. You want to butter me up too? You cannot have both of those things. That's how you get an iPad. You butter him up real good. Get yourself an iPad. Uh, foolishness. Uh, 1776 says Vegemite is also good. Oh. Ugh. I've never had it. Here it's disgusting. <laughs> I know what it's about. No, I ain't doing Vegemite. Uh, it's yeah. uh. Oh God! What is it? What's it made out of? Um... You, know, you know what's good toast? I'll tell you right now. I don't really like cinnamon toast. I like toast. I don't want it real good. Dark toast with butter and then brown sugar on it. You get to go to the range. That's my version of cinnamon toast. Vegemite is made out of yeast extract. It's like a spread made from yeast extract, and it's gross. Yeah, there's another one. Um, is Vegemite from England also? There's another Australia. one from me. Australia. Yeah. Oh, Australia. okay. There's another one. Okay, let's see what guns here are getting shown. Scar. Basically with an Ugg boot on it. That's a nice <laughs> Ugg boot you have up there, Walter. A scar. Scar. It's a score. Oh, yeah. Scar 16. Oh, go for Actually, there's kind, of a, there's kind of a story with this a little bit. If you want to hear it, I'll tell you. If you don't want to hear it. Of course we want to hear it. Oh, We're talking well. about face toast right now. What? what? <laughs> I, I ordered this thing, and, and my son will put the, de the decorations on it. I ordered this thing, and um, my son will had a uh, unexpected brain tumor. Yeah. Um, oh, by the way, Peggy Keller. I'm sorry, Peggy Keller said brown sugar sandwich. Thumbs up. Go brown ahead. Sugar sandwich. Yeah. I ordered the scar, and it showed up the day that. Um, That's not an innuendo, is it? That, they found uh, out about Will's brain tumor. Yeah, yeah, it was at the hospital. So the gun shows up, the UPS man brings it. I'm like, let me just touch it before we leave. So I got the thing, touched it, put it down, went off to the hospital. So, anyways, that's the killer. Story. Killer had a brain tumor. I had no idea. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. yeah. It, everything turned out all right. He's but. Good now. I mean, he's he's like the smartest killer, killer. So they. <laughs> Despite that, if he didn't have that, man, he might just be <laughs> on super genius level. He might look at us with his brain Too bad. and be able him, to melt us. It knocked <laughs> him down to regular human I wish level. you would stop doing that because you're just making it swell even more. So <laughs> his brain, that is. <laughs> uh, I'm just but trying anyway, to get, yeah, so I, you have to, you uh, have to, listen, you, you have not. You have to see it you have to see ugly. Will and Walter going at it. It's like the most amazing thing to Dang me. It, in Hank, the world. You ruined the scar for me. It looks like an Ugg boot now. It does, yeah. Look at ah, it. Ugly. It. <laughs> Go ahead, show us the Ugg boot, Walter. We want to see the Ugg boot. The ugly? The Ugg boot. Let's, let's see the stock. Oh, the boot. You want to see the boot. It yeah. looks like a <laughs> you never posted <laughs> that online. You, Walter, it. turn it um, right turn it up. Point the barrel no, turn it barrel up. Barrel up. So the to, so it looks like a boot. Yeah, we don't want to look like upside down, boot. Um, there you go. Look, <laughs> it really does. It like something else, Caitlin. What does it look like? A foot. She thinks it looks it like looks a foot. Looks like a snow boot, doesn't like it? A foot, a foot like you, like an instrument. Like a soldier or like a, a robot. No, like he's a trying robot. to say what is that? That part right there. Um, that looks like a robot. <laughs> it's like a robot foot. Yeah, absolutely. There we go, and it just grew. <laughs> Yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. Um, that is the best of French engineering. <laughs> French? Uh, wait, what's the F? What's this? I'm on F -ing? French. Belgium. French. Belgium. Huh? Belgium. Oh, be oh, there you go. Uh, so what are we calling it? Yeah. Belgium engineering. There you go. The scar, the scar was built. Excuse me. I yes. You want to do what? My, my daddy said I'm a future gun girl. She's a future gun girl. She's a right. future gun girl. Okay. That is right. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Absolutely. So the, funny, the funny thing about her before she runs off is that she she listens to me a lot. So I'm doing my best to bring her into some of the conversations I have around here. Because somebody <laughs> decided to tell me one night. We were just having a conversation. She was like, uh, yeah, Dad, the end. No other choice firearms training. And like did my side. <laughs> <laughs> so That's right. Gun girl. Mm -hmm. All right, so go go eat. Yeah. Mm, love you say bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> go eat. Say me something. <laughs> say me something. Oh, yeah. Okay, so there we go. So the FN from Belgium, the scar. Yes, but the scar, the scar came as a result of a uh, SOCOM's requirement for a new rifle. And it was just yeah. too darn expensive. Yeah. 
So what's better? What's better from Belgium? It's not time for me to eat. I don't got no plate. Not ready yet. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> what's so? So what's better? What's better? Uh, Belgian waffles or the scar? Belgian waffles. They're cheaper. Waffles how many, are how, how, Uh huh. I what think she's that? just taking over right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> Eat. She said waffle, but he knows he's asking what's better, the waffles or the gun. So what's yeah, better? Belgian, waffles, Belgian waffles. Belgian waffles. See, Belgian you have to have waffles. Belgian waffles the right way. You have to have the waffles with like the with the syrup all over it, and then it has to go in the fridge or the freezer and get really cold, and that's how you're supposed to eat it. But what's the difference between a Belgian waffle and a regular waffle? I just told you. I just no. I just told you. You can get. Belgium waffles, they're cold. That's how you're supposed to serve them. I'm just going to throw this out there. What? You can get about a thousand waffles for the price of that scar. So, what do you want? A thousand <laughs> waffles for a scar. The scar. I think she wants a thousand go. waffles. I'm with you. The cuteness says a thousand waffles. I second that. Walter says the scar. I want the scar. Walter, who has eaten a thousand waffles for breakfast. Waffle people win. <laughs> we did. She said waffle, waffle people, people win. win. Yeah. I mean, the person who wants waffles win. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Now, now your plate's ready. Okay. okay. <laughs> she got awfully uh she got awfully brave there all of a sudden. Oh, she yeah, she yeah. is um her she stands, you guys normally don't see her, but she normally just stands in the background and oh. She Once listened, like run over and get so she's addicted to the camera. Don't get me started. She listened to the silliness. Yes. Oh my god, Chris Illog. I don't know where mm. you're located, but Metro Diner. Whoo, their chicken and waffles. Metro are Diner's chicken. There's one here where in Gainesville that? that just opened. There well, is? It opened about a year ago. Uh, their chicken and waffles are hella chicken, good. Explain that to me. Chicken and waffles, like whoa, whoa. oh, you don't know chicken and waffles. You're, where are you from? <laughs> um, I don't like the idea of chicken and waffles either. Is that like, is a, this? Is that like a, a waffle with uh, like a fried piece of chicken and like? Yeah, it's a, it's a waffle on the bottom and some some fried chicken like fried chicken tenders on top. Put those Stay things up on to that? touch. I don't oh those no, things. those things those things should not communicate on a plate. <laughs> okay. Yeah, chicken and waffles, man. Oh yeah, southern um, delicacy. So Archangel says Belgian waffles are fatter than normal waffles. Yeah, okay. I totally <laughs> yeah, agree with that one. <laughs> yeah. And there's some people saying that a thousand, uh, hashtag thousand waffles. David Wright said, wants to know what's up. I guess he's just jumping in now. Now, hold on. We said the waffles were cheaper, right? But how much syrup and butter are you going to need? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't factor that in. You probably only get like, like 800 waffles if you factor in syrup and butter. No, nobody charges you for syrup and butter. <laughs> You tell me the place that charges you for syrup and butter. <laughs> well, if you're making them at home. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, but you know, but, butter is pretty cheap. It should be cheap. Yeah. Yeah, I don't understand how – so how many people out there like chicken and waffles? Because I don't. Never had what? it. Chicken okay, Kevin, you were, you were missing out on this whole bit right here. Never had These it. These two have never had chicken and waffles. No, I have waffles. I, yeah, I don't want it. It's like the idea of it. What? Why wouldn't you want it? Yes. Oh, I don't want yes. it. What the hell? Do I don't do you want like, it. Do you like chicken? Fried sure, chicken. I do. Absolutely. Fried you chicken. Like yes. I like watermelon also, but I don't like <laughs> ch chicken and waffles at the same time. Oh, Thank you very much. You, you are, you are. I'll have to try it. Just oh, but you would eat, you eat waffles and bacon, right? Who me? Well, you don't eat bacon, well, so I, oh, know, yes, I don't eat bacon. bacon. Oh. Don't you eat say bacon. apples and bacon? I don't, no, you know what, I really don't, I, I, know, I know at least once or twice while we're out there, we're all going to have breakfast together, and it's going to be very, very interesting. It's not going to be no damn chicken and waffles. No, you, you never know where you're going to wind up at. Remember, you agreed to hop in the car with me the first time, so you don't know where you're going to wind up at. <laughs> wait, wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> Jason Abramson uh, said uh, chicken and waffles is bomb. Um, uh, what are you talking about? A shot show? Yeah. Uh, we, don't, we don't even have breakfast. Oh. So, so LV, we don't even have breakfast. We just, we just get going. We have some orange juice. Uh, LV no. Louis Cipher ah. saying you guys need to try when you go to Shot Show. You need to try Hash House a Go Go. It's in Las Vegas. Best chicken that? waffles. Hash House a Go Go is it like on the trip? Place. Nobody's like trying to drive out. He needs to clarify. And uh, nine oh four uh, is in the house. He said, "What's up, guys?" One thing I, what's up? One thing I do want to try while I'm out there in, in uh, uh, Vegas this time is the boiling crab. Where apparently they serve you your seafood bowl in a bag and you eat it with your hand. Well, I've never tried that. Mm, I don't know about that. Um, 
McTag says steak and eggs. That I like. I like steak and eggs. Good. Uh, Bob Wright says pork and applesauce. That's a violation. <laughs> <laughs> that is fire. Man, there's that's a spot a, what the hell are you talking about? There's a spot called Perry's in Houston, Texas. Oh, man. you talking about some good uh, uh, pork chop. And, so uh, lots of people lo like... Lots of people like the chicken and waffles, I guess. Chad it's Patrick. amazing. Ty T likes chicken and waffles. <laughs> okay, okay. How about this? How about this? Here's another. This is another southern. I'd say even a, a black southern food: shrimp and grits. Oh yeah. What the okay. hell are you talking about? Oh, oh, grits. What the hell are you not knowing about? What? Kevin, fill them in on, on shrimp. And grits. I don't eat shrimp. I don't eat shrimp. <laughs> no grits. No, no definitely no, not. No, I don't no, eat shrimp. No. Now, yeah, now yeah, we yeah. know yeah. what's wrong with you. <laughs> right. That's right. You haven't lived yeah. the life. This guy's That's from New York. Problem. He doesn't know this. This delicious. Thing. And how? The, how are you? I've had grits. I've had grits. The world with all this water around, and you ain't never had no damn shrimp. <laughs> I have had shrimp, but I don't eat shrimp. Oh, a lot of people. A lot of people don't like shrimp. I also had all. pork, but I don't eat pork. So um, chops and apples. I'll take, I'll I've take, had I've had curry shrimp, man. Everything curried oh, is awesome. Curry would be great. You know. So yeah. yeah. But when so when I was a kid and my mother was in charge of what I ate back because back in the olden days. People didn't make you like different things and cater to what you wanted to eat. I had to eat whatever the hell my mother cooked. <laughs> okay. So whatever it was that she cooked, I had to eat it. So I've, I've had shrimp and all that kind of stuff. I okay. So we actually had a pretty good joke I would like to share. So David, when I spoke about going to the boiling crab, um, David Wright says- See, Kyle L says I can't do co sea cockroaches. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Hey, Kevin, be careful. The crabs are pretty rampant out there. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I won't I won't be having that problem. Uh, <laughs> and, and you know what? I don't mind grits, but I am actually a cream of wheat guy, if you must know. Cream of wheat is good, but you know, cream of wheat is a ten thousand times better than grit. I don't know about 10,000. It's 10,000 <laughs> times better. Okay, Walter, now you bring the stock. Yesterday, when we were having a conversation about this, you didn't bring this it. This is a new but one, right? Is, yeah. This is, uh, this is the rattler. This yeah. Rattler. yeah, this is the rattler. With the compact and <clears throat> stock for safety. I like it. Uh, Foolish Man 1776 said liver and onions. That I like. Never had. Good. Never yeah, had. That's good. Um, okay, liver. My mom is a little, little standoffish. I'm a little standoffish with liver, so I've never had it. Classified information said crabs from a salad bar is a bad thing. I don't like, I'm not a big fan of salad bars. <laughs> Sig Rattler opt out of gun control. Sig Rattler. Yeah, that's beautiful. I like this. The Rattler's badass, man. Um, Don, I commented on this. Don Stock said uh, 3 a.m. White Castle and coffee. <laughs> I told him that's the old hey, bomb. You will. You will be praying. Have you, guys, yeah. <laughs> have you ever ate White Castle after you've been intoxicated? Or during intoxication. I've never had White Castle. I've never gone north enough to get White Castle. Yeah, I have White Castle. Oh, no, we only have uh, what's from call down here. Crystals. Don't eat crystals. Crystal. That, doesn't Crystal. Count. Crystal. that doesn't count at all. Dude, I don't I even let my eyes. I don't even let my eyes look over at the crystals. <laughs> <laughs> I hear my White eyes Castle try to I look at the crystals. Day. I'm like, what's wrong with you? you never had yeah. White Castle. Yeah, I've never. We don't have one down here. You can you can get them in like the frozen food section, but I'm like, ah, I can't. Oh, no. So when whenever y'all make a trip to to the loo, we gonna. We gonna take it. And then we, we, we're not just gonna go to a White Castle. We're gonna go we gonna go in uh, we gonna go in uh, <laughs> go um, listen, is, I am too old to be eating White Castle, dude. Oh hell no. Uh, I'm there with you, Kevin. I'm going with you. I'll be there. <laughs> take me to White Castle. We're gonna get you one out the middle. So you're gonna have to get the um, you know, you want the one out the middle. You don't want it along the edges because sometimes I don't like soggy bread, and sometimes the water goes to the edges of the grill. <laughs> it's a little soggy. So you gotta get it out the middle, right? And if you really want it fresh at White Castle, here's the trick. Tell them to make it with no onions. Oh, then they have to make it fresh. Then they have to make it fresh because they cook everything on onions. No onions. And then when you say uh, no onions, and then before they bag it, say, hey, can you throw some onions on there? And then they have to <laughs> <laughs> put it on. But, man, oh, yeah, we're going to uh, get you a double cheeseburger from White Castle. They used to be cheap, man. You used to be able to get those things for, like, 35 cents. Mm -hmm. They're like $1.19 now or something ridiculous. So it's not as... Yeah. Cost effective it used to be. White yeah, Castle. White Castles. Um, I don't know what's the point of eating. So we're here. We're looking at um, the. Ooh, we're looking at the Rattler. You know what? I don't know what's the point of eating White Castles, man. You just gonna. It, that's just gonna go be in and out. <laughs> you flow right through you. Yeah. Especially they when might you as well call it In and Out Burger. When you add a cup of coffee on top of that. <laughs> you know, speaking of reason why they call it sliders because it slides right through you. Go ahead. <laughs> oh God. 
We didn't get to the In and Out Burger in Las Vegas. That's supposed to be a good burger. Oh, it's good. Yeah, that's. Oh, true. Man, it is. It's, it's one right there, not too far from the hotel. It's like a mile from the hotel. We walked to it last time. Man, that's a good burger. Yeah, I've never had an In and Out Burger. Oh. oh, it is for fast food or whatever you want to consider it. It, it was is a pretty good burger. We're gonna have to go there during Shot Show. Yeah, yeah. If you, okay, if you, if you, yeah, you can walk there. That's my, I don't know. You know if um. Well, I know Walt. I know me and you can do it, uh, and Babyface can do it. I know Hank's lazy as hell. So, are you trying to have a walking competition with me? Because I will outwalk you any day. Hey. Oh dear! Okay. I grew up in New York City, man. I had to walk oh. everywhere. I don't. I don't. You can't. Don't, you, can't you can't outwalk me, son. Oh, I, I can. Like he's really confident in this walking thing, huh? Okay, so you have no problem walking to In and Out, then, right? It's only a mile. No, freak, freak that. I'm um, forget that. Uh-uh. <laughs> uh, we, we, we can take a. We'll take a, a lift over there. Or, it's a mile, dude. Or Uber or something like that. Uh, Brian know. Quick says Five Guys are good. Five Guys are good too. Oh uh, yeah, we got five guys here. We don't have In and Out here. But we got five guys. Florida Gun says five. White Castle okay. clam strips. Okay, that is some kind of violation. What is it? Fried clams. clams? Yeah, clam strips at White Castle. I didn't even know they did that. That sounds really gross. And I, I haven't been to a White Castle in probably 15 years or something. Oh man, we need to make a trip out of this. You know what? I do have a um, I do have a gun question. Oh. I want to know what people. So this is the LAV. Before you start, flat dark earth is the best color ever. Just throwing that out there. Okay. Well, I love flat dark earth everything. So this- <laughs> Hank knows that. It is, a, it is a nice color. So this is the Glock 19 that Hank is jealous because I have the Larry Vickers autograph magazine to go with it. <laughs> uh, yes. So I would, um, what I, what I, what I like to ask people though, it, it doesn't take an experienced shooter. I want to know what people think about these, um, these Wilson sights on the back of it though. What are these Vickers sights? I think it's I have, whoa! I've never seen those before. Yeah. What's on the front? How's your a site acquisition? Is that does that make I, it faster? Yeah, the site acquisition. I think is is actually pretty difficult to be honest with you. Yeah, because um, that looks like that, it would make it would be take longer for me to make that site picture. Let me see if I can line this thing up. I don't know where mine is. Uh, the Glock that I have, um, mm. I had blacked out rear and a tritium front and i really liked that so. and the tritium front on this one dude i'm telling you it's like this the tip of your ink pen that's how big it is the tiny like it's, so, it's so freaking i can't yeah i don't know i like big you can't even see it give me a big old tritium vial it's yeah so, i mean you might as well put ghost rings on that glock yeah that's the only thing i didn't like about it so they came out with the second gen of the vickers and they actually put uh, i think some uh, green fiber optic front in it or something but yeah i can't I can't see what the heck I'm shooting at in the daytime. I mean, I can point shoot, and that's fine, but you can't really, you can't really do anything else. But I'm not going to shoot the gun anyway. Yeah. yeah. So let me ask you this question: Who here is in Gainesville other than me and Babyface? So is there anyone in the oh, chat the or hanging out or watching this video that's in Gainesville? By the way, don't forget the thumbs ups, guys. I don't know if we hit a hundred thumbs ups, but let's try. Let's try to get up there. We have like a hundred and fifty-five people watching this live right now at this minute. And Justin sometimes, Houston. sometimes it goes up above that. So You're I don't. 50. Yeah, huh? Juicy Lucy, yeah. what the? Juicy what is Lucy. that? What, juicy what Lucy? the hell is that? Anyone ever have a juicy Lucy? I, if that's in Las Vegas, I don't want to. Is that some kind of like sexual thing? That's where the crabs are rampant. You gotta watch <laughs> out. <laughs> juicy Lucy, I don't know. So anyway, I'm I'm trying to find out who's in Gainesville or not far from Gainesville because on Saturday at Big Daddy Guns here in Gainesville, Gainesville, which Florida, is, that is not Gainesville, yeah. Georgia. Not yes. Georgia. Okay, yes, Gainesville, Florida. <laughs> um, on Saturday, uh, Big Daddy Guns they open ten to six on Saturday. WMD Guns that came on the show here with us. They they do the Nibex finishing and all that kind of stuff. There goes their um, stickers right there, WMD Guns. Um, they're from Stewart. They will be at Big Daddy Guns all day on Saturday. They're going to have a bunch of different guns. Um, they're going to be showing all the different guns that they do and educating people on that. I will be there hanging out for some time. So if anyone wants to come hang out with me on Saturday. I guess I have to go too then. Yeah, I know we were supposed to shoot some guns. Canceling on there. me again. I, I don't want to, but you know, this is what's going down. We we're gonna we'll be there. Marley's working on Saturday, so I'm free, so I'll come hang out. Oh, okay. Jason Abramson said a juicy Lucy is a burger with cheese inside of it. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Oh right. really? I'm all right. I've had, I've had burgers with cheese inside of them, yeah. Now I'm not supposed to be eating carbs though. That's the only bad thing. I'm not supposed to have doughy carbs. I'm gonna have to figure this thing out. <laughs> lots of meat. Just lots of meat. That's it. Just 
Well, I don't really like the way you're saying it, Walt. So <laughs> I, mean, I got your meat. I got your meat right here. I didn't. I didn't say I got your meat right here. I got your meat right here. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, so I'm just trying to remind everyone, like, if you're in the area, like, if you're in Ocala or Lake City, or you're, you know, you're not too far from from Big Daddy Guns in Gainesville, Florida. Come down on Saturday. We'll be hanging out there for. You know, we'll be hanging out there with the WMD guns guys for some for some period of time. Ready face. Um, any Glock news? Any Glock news? Oh, your gun is sucks. <laughs> My gun? What? Oh, you, oh well. <clears throat> I did some work on it. Uh, I got some more work to do. We'll we'll okay. cover it at a later date. That's all. Face out. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? You're, you're working on an eighty percenter. I, I did a little bit of work for Walter to help out uh, mm -hmm. with his eighty percenter, and it's um, <laughs> it's the eighty percent kits. So they uh, we we need to talk about this more. Everybody that I see on the internet is always like, "Oh my god, these eighty percent kits are so great! They're so easy! They're never freaking easy!" There's all I always run into some sort of trouble that I have to work around and smith around, and it's just always a pain in the butt. <laughs> But I know. I totally agree with you. I think people who are saying how uh, quick and easy or whatever these things are are just 100% lying to you. That's crazy. It's not. You know, I, I've I never had it go as easy. Using the, the milling machine is the best thing. I did uh, one of my own 80 percenters on the mill, and using the mill makes it great because uh, doing that compared to like the, the drill the in the vice crap that we were doing before was tough. Using my mill for it that Walter gave me uh, made it super, super easy. Uh, but there's just like little odds and ends that you buy a Glock and it works. You put one of these together and you have to work around certain things to make it work perfectly. Yeah. Um, I think it's a good idea to get into just to figure out your gun. You know, and I think there are people, um, you know, there's people who are better maybe than other people. But you have to like make sure you get all the right parts. You have to put it together. You have to hone it down. So it's not as easy, yeah. I think, as some people are making out. But I'm not trying to discourage people from doing it either. Babyface uh -oh. and I have one coming up, a video on it where we're going to talk about all of this. But it's not a super easy thing to what do. Issues? So. Did we have any issues with that one? Oh, we just uh, it had the wrong trigger parts. We installed the wrong trigger part for it. Yeah. That one that one worked out all right. This one's giving me a little more trouble, but I'll get it. I'll get it running. Yeah, everyone is different, you know. So you got it. Like I know Glocks look like they're just simple things. But they're they're I think they're kind of elegant because it looks simple to you, but it really isn't. So there you yeah. go. Um, someone says, "Okay, Recall Junkie 1981 says I will be in Gainesville next March for the NH NHRA Gator Nationals. We'll be going oh, nice. to, right next to, my house. to yeah. He says he'll <laughs> be going to Safety Harbor Firearms and Big Eddie Guns too. Who okay, is this? cool. Let me know. This is Recall Junkie 1981. Recall Junkie, you're right. You're yeah. gonna be right near me. We can yeah. actually hear." Because it's over by the airport um, on cool nights whenever they run, like when they do the Gator Nationals, you can actually hear it from our house. Yeah. yeah. Uh, classified information said the Brownells video said it was easy. <laughs> um, <laughs> no disrespect to Brownells, but uh, it's not necessarily uh, that easy. You know, people. some people make things look easy in the videos, and it's not necessarily easy in real life. But I'm not trying to discourage you. It's all doable. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, we've done these things before, and it's all doable. I'm just saying, you will come uh, have a coming to Jesus moment. <laughs> you know, <It's laughs> building like up these AR. guns. Yeah. Don't go AR. into it. <clears throat> I'd say don't go into it expecting it to be like an AR-15. Yeah, and it's a cool AR thing to do, though. I think it's a cool thing to do, and you should do just to get to like Definitely. respect the the your, your pistol. Hundred percent. Yeah, and we're gonna take on 1911 at some point, right? I am super excited to work on one of those. I really want to try one. Yeah. Um, you know, listen, it's always, I, I think you have to take everything with a grain of salt. It's always looks easy to do something in some videos. What I try to do is like bring you guys, you know, a real perspective of how, how something is, you know, how it is to do. And I'm telling you, we've done a bunch of these. So, no, um, it's not I, necessarily, I'm, not even, I'm scared to try the kind of stuff. The only thing I'd say is the I, newer, the newer kits are much easier than their older design. Their older design was really, it was almost kind of like a beta design. And then they brought out the compact, well, no, not even the compact, just the new version of the guns. Mm -hmm. And those are much, much easier to work with. So if you're yeah. going to buy one, 
don't buy the old version. Go for the new version. For sure. Yeah, absolutely. Go the new version way better, way, way better. better. Um, and I, I bought the old version and because it was on sale. Now that you, now you have a, a spare old old model. And one of the things I would suggest, like the one that we've got something coming up on, um, you know, the one that we've got something coming up on, it's Brownells. We did it like we used um, Brownells has an exclusive frame. And um, they've got some slides and things like that. So we did. We got everything from Brownells. The one thing I would say it would be awesome if someone somehow just had a checklist for every part you need, and you could just go through that and get all the parts. Because usually yeah. you'll forget parts. Well, so I, I was going to ask, how did you get your parts? Because they were all in a nice, neat little bag. Me? Mm -hmm. I bought those in sets. So that was a set of trigger parts and a set of like slide parts. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, but I didn't, I didn't really know what I needed because it was like, okay, well, let's see here. Let me see. I, I you, never you really have to sit, if you've never worked on a Glock before, or if you've never, like an armor, if you, if you handed a Glock to an armor, they could tell you every single part. Is that little, tool, that little tool I bought that for installing something in the slide, is that like for installing a bushing or something or? Yes. That one, uh, that is actually it turned out to be really handy when I worked on the slide. I've never used one of those before, but there's a, a little plastic bushing that goes in the slide, yeah. which is actually one of the things that is causing me some trouble. So I, once I figure out what's going on there, I will be less angry at that gun. Okay. Yeah, right. um, Mike <laughs> Lubikowski says he sent a punch through his pinky the finger the first time. Easily. Yeah. Uh, that's half the fun, though. I mean, yeah, that's, and that's like this thing. Well, I, I've yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Half yeah. the fun is, is hitting your fingers with a hammer. Yeah. And, and Jason out. Abramson <laughs> says, if we think that uh, polymer 80 is hard, the 1911 is really hard. Um, I totally agree with that. I think a 1911 is going to be way more. I think you're, it's easier to build probably a Glock than a 1911. The only thing for me with working with plastic versus working with metal is metal is a very – solid material where that plastic gives in certain places if you heat it up too much you can like if you put the pinhole in the wrong place or, you, or even just a little bit out of place um where the the metal is like a 1911 frame you really got to beat on one of those things to screw it up the plastic frame you can you hit it with the saw on accident or you run the, the mill too quickly and done <laughs> yeah you're, the whole thing's scrap you got to start over yeah but i think you know i think that they're two very different pieces so for sure yeah but and and they're getting better polymer 80 is getting better with this stuff um let's Mom see it's too damn expensive but yeah. i'm cheap i'm cheap as fuck yeah classified information says i'm going to build an 80 percent scar without the ug boots <laughs> so, scars it's the it's the upper that is registered right yes the, the upper yeah. yes yep yep yeah that's, that's so weird well that's that's the way um fals are too are they really yeah fals the receive the upper is the receiver the lower is just the lower so yeah because that's scar lower you can actually i forget the company but they have one that will take a pmax yeah yeah yeah, yeah you can get a you can get a and actually you can get metal metal scar lowers versus plastic mm. yeah Recall Junkie 1981 says his family races super stock and super comp. That's cool. I wonder if you can get us tickets to that. You know, to okay. uh, well, the, and it, the 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 show is probably not that expensive anyway. Have you ever gone there, Babyface? To the uh, to the international. NH, yeah, NHRA. Yeah. Yeah, I went there when I was a kid. It was. Uh, have you ever seen a drag? Not a drag show. I won't say that. <laughs> <laughs> not have you ever seen a drag question. race? Uh, I've seen it like on YouTube videos, no, but, but not in person. Been no, you, I've been to a big monster truck you, thing, but you not go that. To a real drag race. It's it's the power coming out of those cars is unbelievable. And the noise and the smells yeah. and the you just yeah. you have to experience it. It's crazy. It's really well, cool. If we should you do like that. the smell of unburnt fuel and stuff, then you got to go to drag. I race. do. I do. Oh man, and yeah, you feel the the engines roar by. It's really cool. Boom. Okay, blow up and catch yeah. fire and yeah, yeah. yeah we should all we should all go up there or do that. Yeah, it's you know. it's right next to the house. It's not far. Yeah, so watch uh, them take watch them take the top fuel engines apart between each run and disassemble them and reassemble them. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, no, I I, lo I love all that stuff. And you see the crazies um, that are riding like uh, like bikes and whatnot. Yeah. Like the only bikes. thing I think they should do with these drag race cars is they should all be reverse trikes. That's that's what I think they're missing. They should have big one big massive wheel in the back and two little skinny wheels up front. Well, you, you could you be the first trike, trike racing. 
So I'm just obsessed with that. We can, uh, put, you, we can, put, we can put you like a 1200 horsepower engine or a 2000 horsepower engine and you can drive <laughs> it off of one wheel and that's wheelies all day, man. Um, <laughs> pop a wheelie immediately. <laughs> uh, foolish man, 17, 1776 says worst story I have yet is a bed punch trying to remove a pin. Yeah, so so uh, until you've like broken a, a punch off in the gun, it can always get worse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So I've um, been to, I've been to like I started out using cheap punches and I've been to a bunch of those and finally I've upgraded to not buying like Harbor Freight punches because I can bend those way too easily. Well, usually what happens is you bend the little ones. You know, it's always the little ones. Yeah, it's always a little tiny. Yeah. So who makes the best uh, punch set? I've been Ste using the Wheeler punches and they work oh. pretty good. Starrett punches are pretty good. Oh, Starrett stuff is really good, but that's still a little out of my price range. Oh, okay. Starrett anything is really good. Now, you know, for, for the bigger ones, I, I have some Chicom ones in my in my pile of punches. And they actually, the larger ones last, you know, but when you get down to the small ones, that's you're constantly, I don't care if it's Starrett or Wheeler or whatever you're doing. Yep. You're going to bend them and break them. And, that's, why, you know, that's why I need a lathe. So I can, once I break the tip off, I can just stick it on the lathe and, and <laughs> mill it myself to a smaller piece again. <laughs> no. Get another one. Buy another one. Yeah. Just 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 grind that that broken off one to a point and use it for a spot. That's right. I have one right now that I did that too. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. yep. Yeah. Oh, this man kid has a great punch in it. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. So yes. were there any other guns that you guys wanted to show off? The only thing I have sitting in front of me was this um mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm this? gonna show off I'm gonna show off one of my guns right here. Boom! <laughs> That's my gun. It's it's got a fuzzy burl right there. Yeah. Ah. Burl. It's got a fuzzy burl for sure. Watch it. He's, he's aiming burl. down at us all. Everybody duck. Yeah. So this is like, um, this is my, when I'm doing like vlog style videos, which I do a lot of vlog style stuff right now, this is my uh, camera. So it is a Canon EOS M5. Oh, you got your little short, short burl in there too. Yeah. yeah short burl. Yeah. It's a short, short burl camera. camera. And I actually have I actually have a T-shirt and it looks something like this on Forge from Freedom that says I shoot people. <laughs> have you guys seen that? Oh yeah, I saw that. Yeah. I saw that. <laughs> so um, you know, here you guys can get it. It's basically this. You're getting the real thing right now. But the but the T-shirt is like the uh, skull with a mohawk and a camera. So, but I was doing some videos. I was doing some videos with this today. No, my 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 burl's bigger than yours. Whoa! <laughs> it's not about the size of the burl. It's about the rhythm of no, the. the I am going to be stalking all cam. Well, I won't be running my own camera this year, thank God. But I got to get better with this thing, man. Like they do so many different things, like all these different knobs up here. I still don't know what all that crap means. Oh, exposure. Um, and, yeah, that's and, just. Do you want it in auto? Do you want it in manual? Do you want to put right, it in video? Auto, manual, but you know, you can put it on certain things, and the color supposed to switch up. Like, I guess I'm just not that artistic. What um, camera is that? This is the um, the Canon EOS Rebel T5i. Oh, Ooh. yeah. I used to have one of those yeah. five years ago. Good camera. <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> that little camera. Now they got the two new models out, but I'm yeah. never going to keep up. I'm gonna tell you what. I don't like these things though. Now these what are the mics. I, yeah, I got two of them, and they're they they weren't expensive, but they weren't cheap either. And sometimes they work, and sometimes they don't. But I figure it's shot. I'm gonna need them. Yeah, T five I, T six I, those are good. You know what you get? Magic Lantern. You put Magic Lantern on there, and then I don't even it know. Unlocks if you know. Magic Lantern unlocks all of the the things that the higher end models can do. Um, it won't do it as well as a $2,500 model. What's that? Yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's, a, firmware. It's, some, it's some firmware that you put on your SD card and you put it in the camera and it kind of like hacks the camera. It like jailbreaks the camera and unlocks software features that are locked mm -hmm. away for only the higher end cameras, but it gives oh. you options for them. But it's in the camera anyways. Yeah, it's, it's the, the yeah. software already has it. They just lock oh, it for cool. the lower end stuff. You know, yeah. Kevin... Kevin, back when, you know, before all the automatic stuff like we have now in the digital, I used to use all those buttons and do exposures and take all kinds of cool pictures and in real low light and all that stuff. But now that with the cameras now, I just set it on auto and rock and roll. Rock and so, roll. Yeah, I yeah. mean. Yeah. Seems like a. But, you know, yeah, camera's amazing. I see Mr. 57 Bronco says Canon 5D. That's a pretty good camera, 5D. 
There's lots of good cameras out there. I think that's what. What is it? Is that the one you want, Babyface, or the 6D? Uh, no, I'm an Nikon shooter. I shoot. Oh, Nikon. you're a Nikon guy. Oh, I forgot. I want the. Um, I don't know. There's a body that's out right now that has. Uh, Babyface is totally a camera snob. Oh, dude. He's I have a, a D90. Snob. I have an Nikon D90 that I've had for probably close to seven or eight years now. Does it work? Yeah, it works just. It works great. But it, it it's the first body that they brought out with video capability. So it's not great for video. It's great for, for photography. Just the videography is pretty rough. It was the like first iteration of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the new one that they have out though, that's again, it's like two thousand dollars for the body, um, but it shoots in four K and in high speed. Oh, it looks awesome. Yeah. Um, Foolish man, seventeen seventy six is also a Nikon guy. Uh, <laughs> KY Firearms hates Nikon. <laughs> Jordan Poole says Nikon. <laughs> Um, yeah, so there you go. The camera wars, man. The camera wars are on. Right. Maybe uh, should... Cal L says, I use a JVC GRC1. I would have to look that up. Mm. Um, so there you go. The D500 is the one I want. I wonder? Yeah. D5, Nikon D500, 4K video. Oh. 4K, but again, the body's like 2,000 bucks, so yeah, it can wait. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 2,000 bucks, man. You should get... Yeah. Bar? Yeah. David Four. Wright says uh, we're talking stuff he doesn't know about. He's still using a VHS camcorder. How many? Where the hell is, oh man! Where are you? Where are you getting VHS tapes? Where do you get them tapes from, man? <laughs> at least, at uh, least move up to some Sony, some older Sony stuff. Get that dish set, you know. Yeah, those tapes are uh, going the way of the dodo bird. Yeah, and it's too bad because the old Sony uh, VH, the small, the micro, the the micro cassette ones, the small ones, they took good video too. That's but that's, that's the way it goes, man. Every time I look at a Guardians of the Galaxy, I wish I kept my um, my Walkmans from the, the 80s Walkman, and the yeah. 90s. Yeah. Oh, I think, well. Damn, because I had I used to get the Walkmans like right when they got off the boat from Japan. <laughs> you were lined up for the newest Walkman. And yeah, man. I used to go into I used to go into Manhattan. It's like, and get, like today. the newest Japanese Walkman. The I'm serious. Get the B and H photo or something and get a. Yeah, that's the, right. Yeah, B and H. Yeah, B and H. Uh, all those I've places, man. I've been there. I've been there. Yeah. Um, is it open on Saturdays? I had, I had to, I had to go there because I, you know, always said B and H folk. And when I actually got there, I was like, "What the fuck? This ain't nothing special." No, it's just a big warehouse, and they're not open on the Sabbath. Or... With a bunch of acidic, acidic Jewish guys running the place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Those guys are at um, the NAB show. Yeah. That used to be the spot. Like, you can't go there Saturdays, though. It's the Sabbath. Yeah. So, but you know, that used to be the spot in New York. So yeah. now we, we've lost Kevin. We've gone into cameras. Kevin doesn't know anything about this. Well, I can't. Uh, so. I know. I know. How, I know where the power button is, and I know. I, I know you need to wait until it focuses to start doing things. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. You don't need to wait until it focuses. You feel like Hank's Hank's focus in. Yeah, you get a nice little blur. That's cinematic, baby. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, see, McTag said 40 strikes, 42nd Street photo. I used to go there. Yeah. 42nd Street photo. Yeah, I used to love going to those spots, man, and getting the, the Walkmans. And then dudes used to try to rob you for your Walkman. Yeah, that's <laughs> crazy. Like, you know, people were like, so what you going to do for that Walkman? <laughs> I'm going to bust yeah. a cap on your ass. That's well, run it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't want to incriminate myself, but, you know, I've <laughs> always, let's just put it this way. I've always been into guns. <laughs> I've always been into guns, my friend. <laughs> you know. Oh yeah, DC two Megaboo said I used to have an Iowa Walkman with the equalizers. Yes, sir. What like That's this? The badass this? Iowa. No, no, the Walkman. Uh, the Walkmans used to be so badass, man. They used to be so badass. That that Iowa, I had one of those. I used to like go get the the freshest two things. I used to get because I I worked since I was like thirteen years old. I would yeah. get me Nikes and Walkmans. Oh, dear. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that kills me your shoes, too. So. Yeah. Nikes and Walkmans. I, ne I, never, I, didn't, I never got into Air Jordans and all that. That's um, crazy. I'll tell you. But I got Nikes. I was like a Nike guy when I was younger, but now I kind of get I, – I like Nikes, but I prefer Adidas. 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 Uh, Adidas. Yeah. Good. Good. So. Oh. But when I was younger, I didn't like Adidas because that's what everyone had. Everyone had Adidas and Kango hats and freaking gazelle glasses. 
they had these big fake, I don't know if you guys know what that is. It's like it had a big fake rim of the glasses and dudes didn't even have like actual glass in there. No, no, no. Yeah, that was in the yeah, 80s. I've never heard of it. Like, have you ever seen Run DMC? Yeah. I'm looking them up right now. Yeah, have you ever seen Run DMC oh, with glasses on their face? Probably, yeah. Those were gazelles, or I think it's gazelles. For all I know, it's like Geisley. I'm pronouncing it wrong. Gazelle glasses, here we go. Yeah, they were badass. I would love to get some of those right now. <laughs> they look ridiculous. <laughs> oh, yeah, they, they, were, they were big, like, square. Like the, like, like, the fifth thing that comes up is a picture of Run DMC. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Just think, Run DMC. People, everyone had like in uh, in New York, man. Everyone had Adidas. What was the jeans? Um, it was yeah. probably Levi's, but people had like Stonewash and stuff like that. You wear yeah. Calvin's? Yeah, uh, yeah. I think people had Calvin's and stuff like that. You know, but uh, yeah. So that's how it was. But I didn't really care about that. I just cared about my Nikes and my Walkman. Chicks had the bongo jeans. The bongos. Yeah. Uh, bongo jeans. Uh, mm. yeah, but you know, when you go back then, oh man, you have to remember Fila was popping back then. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And then there were some other shoes that all the rappers had, but they were like leather. And I forgot what they were. They were very expensive. Nice big back then. They weren't leather, though. You also had um, got leather. I remember the Jodeci boots. I forget who makes them, though, but that's just what Casey and Casey and JoJo used to wear them all the time. They have any? They have any look like this? No, they didn't quite look like that. Uh, but no, not in the, in the. Can I throw out something real quick? Sure. Uh, Aero Precision on their website, on uh -huh. the blemished section, has yeah. complete M4 E1 uppers with pistol with the buffer tube, either pistol or carbine, for one twenty five. Oh, yeah. what? what? Bucks. Send that link. Put that link in there right now. Rip. <laughs> arrow, arrow precisions. Uh, we just got some arrow precision receivers lately here, and they're really nice. Yeah, yeah. I like. I've used um, their stuff for a while. I like it. Babyface found the arrow precision um, thing on. Hopefully that works for everybody. I'm sticking in their the deal on arrow precision. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. <coughs> their AR ten. Oh, Lola. Lola says she posted it on the Facebook page already. Nice. Okay. Lola's beat me to it. <laughs> Did you already post it, Lola? What is it? Mm, mm, mm. It's in the chat. I'm gonna put bad. it. In, I'll put it in the. Let me see if I. Okay, you you put it in the chat already, right, Patrick? Yeah. I just stuck it in the chat. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Oh That's no, cool. but 404 didn't it? Bad link. Uh, and, their, and their blems are so so. Uh, you can't. If you even, go to their website, it's under the. I think it's under like the shop and then blem section or something like that. No, it came up on mine. It came up on mine. Yeah, I don't. The links are, are finicky on on Google, and I don't know why. Here, let me see. I'll try to put it in here, and then you guys can let me know if it works. Because this, I just looked. I just went to this link, and it worked. Yeah, it worked perfect for me too. So. What? Link does not. Let's see. That's a new one. Um, it's for. Yeah, for it's a bad bad link. So if you go to shop online, and then go to let's see, lower complete lowers, I think. Yeah, so here I'm looking at it. So Lola, if you're listening to me, it's if you could go to the shop online section and then look for complete lowers. And I think it's uh it's And then you go yeah, there's a section for sale. Shop online yeah. sale and then uh the first ones that are there are the the blims. And yeah, they're I've gotten their blims before. There's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. yeah so never shop online, go to Aero Precision, shop online, then sale blemished. And then you'll see it there. Yeah, and um, it's a pretty good deal. No, that's a good deal. On, on okay, so Lola's saying it's on the Facebook page. So there you go. There you go. Jump over to that. They'll have a. So one. if you check out my, if you check out the Hank Strange Facebook, Lola says it's already up there. And if you get it through that link, you help support the Hank Strange situation as well. <laughs> so uh, let me see. Maybe I should pull. I don't know if I pull up the Facebook page. I don't know if I can from here. They also have their. Facebook this is as of a day ago. They have their strip lower receivers for fifty bucks, which that's a decent deal. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, like I said, check out the if you like AR10 stuff, they make a good. Yeah, yeah. Aero Precision has good stuff. Yeah, I, I like all their stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I'm totally, 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 totally good with that. I'm trying to see where Lola put this. Okay, yeah, she did put it on here. She did what put it, it on. 
Hump day. I'm trying to right. I'm trying to open it on the thing. If you go if you go look at the uh, Hank Strange page, you'll find it. You grab that, and then all you gotta do is grab yourself one of those like cheap Palmetto State Armory uppers. Got yourself a working rifle right there. Let me post it. If you click on it, you'll be able to copy the link. Post it. It isn't let who post what. It let me post the link. Yeah, I can't. I can't get it open either. From, I don't know uh, why. From this computer, just go to Hank Strange Facebook slash Hank Strange. Hey Kevin, yeah, you look like a you like lonely it. there. What, what's a man? I'm. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm like I jumped. I saw the price, and I'm he's just checking. He's, he's buying, buying stuff. Checking he's which buying. bank account will it say okay? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, never mind. I, I mean, to interrupt you. Go ahead. Oh no, you're fine. No, I'm. 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 I'm still here. You're checking it out. Hey, Lola says, um, Kevin, you better buy it through the Facebook page. <laughs> I know. If I, I, I'm looking to make you see what I have to do is find the, the allotted funds and then go beg to spend certain funds. Oh, and okay. then I will be able then yes, I will go through the Facebook page. Yeah, so there you go. Or you're gonna have to deal with Lola on that one. I don't wanna, I don't wanna deal with Lola. Hallelujah. Yeah. So, all right. So let's see. So um, we're coming back tomorrow. I want to remind everyone before these guys wrap up and everything. Next Tuesday, the nineteenth. That's our are we yeah. That's our last day, the nineteenth. It's a Christmas party. Yeah, that's the Christmas party. Think about and and you won't see us until the new year. So think about all the videos, all the hangouts this year. That you know, like which ones were your favorites? Which ones did you really enjoy? All that kind of stuff. We'll be talking about that at the Christmas party. New Year's resolutions. Yeah, New Year's resolutions. Um, tell, us Kevin, how, tell us all your lies, what you what you think you're going to do, and how bad you're going to lie about doing it. Absolutely. Kevin Dixie's coming in a sexy elf outfit, he says. You know what? I actually will um, not be in a sexy elf, elf outfit, but if you would like, I can come. I can still surprise people and try to find some place cool in Seattle to come live from if they got places out there. <clears throat> That's where I'll be next week. I wonder if there's a like a maybe I should just do a gun show from Starbucks headquarters. Oh dear. Oh, yeah, it looks like Lola put a link in the thing. So <laughs> they listen to you, they're gonna freak out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That would just be fun. Like, oh, I'm in Starbucks. Hey, what's up, gun channel? What's going on? And to watch all the people freak out. I'm pretty sure Seattle PD would like slam me to the ground. Yeah. Yeah. the hearts. Yeah. Um, okay. So let, Lola put a link up there. Let me see if I can put this in our internal chat. If you guys want to, I, I'm guessing that that's working. Yeah, the internal one's working. The, I went to it. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, Lola put up a link there, which I think it's working for me. I don't know if it's working for anybody else. Mm -hmm. Such. So so there you go. Mass things guys. Right. Literally a complete lower for. That's a good deal. Yeah. yeah, that's a good price for a, you know, kind of a, a name brand lower. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I mean, there you go. Just because of uh, I don't even know what the blemish is, but it doesn't really matter that much. Small, you, you can can't never even. tell with those. Yeah. Once the ones we got were supposedly blems, and you, you, you. I don't know. I can't see nothing. So Gorillas and Guns wants me to remind you guys: don't forget that the Tyvin Show, Kentucky Firearms Network, and Gorillas and Guns will be on on the twenty third. On what? Oh, I think you guys are doing like that's the chat that you guys are doing, right? Is that is that and so is that Tyvin's um um is that the counter show? What is that? Is that the um, um yeah like yeah they're gonna do like a fan show where they talk about us okay and all the shenanigans we get up to <laughs> <laughs> and so yeah you know what it's totally um <clears throat> it's totally. Yes. No other two oh, sorry. Yeah, um, I, I, yeah. I missed out some. Who's gonna? Is that gonna be on Tyvin's thing? Is that gonna? I be think it's gonna be on Tyvin's channel. Yes. Okay. okay. All right. I get notices for that. So. Yeah. So there you go. That'll be on Tyvin's channel. And um, speaking of Brownells, I see that they just shared the bucket list video that I did for you guys who don't realize. There it is. Oh, okay. Want to help out the Hank Strange situation? The fact that Brownells just shared it. This would be a good time to go click on that video. <laughs> watch it and try to get it heated up right now everyone should go click on this video open up another window and on Brownell's search. Facebook yeah uh, Brownell's uh, I'm gonna see if I can actually Google it so I'm gonna <laughs> open up a Google window is that for, going on um, Brownell's site no they just shared it on their Twitter so oh okay Brownell's let me see I'm gonna do Brownell's uh, bucket list I'll try that too and I'm gonna 
probably come up with the video. Okay. Yes, and that pulls up the video. So everyone go look at that video right now. Top of the list. Yeah, go look at that video and uh, let it play. Just leave it in there. Let it play in your window. <laughs> I got it. You know, let's get it. Let's get it heated up, man. Let's make that video a big one. You know, so at least I think the Brownells guys just got around to seeing it. <laughs> so I think they just shared it on Twitter. So there you go. So what do you think? What did your son think you're showing him uh, saw it, uh, sleeping in the side in the car on the side? Dude? I don't think he's seen it. <laughs> oh, he hasn't seen it. <laughs> no, probably. He probably hasn't seen it, but that's what they do, man. They've been doing that since they were little kids. They get in the car and they just go to sleep. That was you. You were cruising. You were cruising up nineteen there. Um, I went. Yes, yes. Okay. I went the back way. That's actually the easier way to go. Yeah, yeah. It's, Tallahassee. It's much so. easier. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's not. It's an easy ride. Yeah. 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 Sometimes I get on I seventy five and go up that way, but usually I go. I ten is awful. Yeah. Man. Yeah, that's, usually, I mean, that's kind of going out of your way. You got to go up and then go over versus just. Yeah, if I'm in Gainesville, I go up 75. Yeah, that's they're yep. closer there. You're closer. Yeah. Um, John, <laughs> Jason Abramson said, I've already seen the bucket list video with Chad from IV88 where he kept photobombing me. Yeah, you have to look at that. It's so creepy. Chad has skills with this. Like, I'm shooting, and I actually, the guy messed up, and I promised the guy that I was going to edit it out where he messed up and I'm talking to this guy and Chad comes in behind me and he's like circling real slow, like slow, creepy circling. <laughs> and I had no clue. And so the guy messed up and I was like, Oh, so we have to do this again. And then he comes back around. He goes 360 and comes back around again. And, uh, but I didn't cut it out because it was so funny. And then Sean from we like shooting was in there photo bombing me. He came and stood like in the distance and was looking at us and blinking like this. <laughs> <laughs> the whole I was like, these guys are bastards. So he was I, doing his he was doing his best creepy Joe Biden. Is that what he was doing? Yeah. <laughs> Looks like yeah. everybody's starting to sign off. You ready to you ready to call this yeah. one? All right, yeah. So okay, let's um so what are you up to, babyface? Uh not much. I finished this Colt, so we're gonna next time we're together we'll probably do some videos on shooting it. I'm gonna practice, see how it goes tomorrow. Um I'll probably be on that at that thing on Saturday, so whoever's there, I'll see you guys there. Awesome. Cool. All right. Uh, David Wright says he's got the videos going. Thank you to everyone who's playing it. I appreciate that. Kevin, I hope you're playing it. Babyface, I hope you're playing it. Walter. I'm playing it, boss. I'm playing it. Yeah. Okay. So what's up with you, Kevin? <laughs> um, nothing. I am. Um, so this week. So I will be in the, the great state of Washington early next week. I'm going to try to attempt to uh, make in some time to do some kind of cool gun stuff while I'm out there, but we'll see. Um, but as usual, you know, keep up with me. It's uh, NLC Firearms Channel on YouTube, uh, Facebook. There is, once again, guys, there is a new Facebook page. There is still NLC Firearms Training. Uh, my, uh, uh, I guess, public figure page now is KD of NLC. So that's KD of NLC. That's where I'm going to be putting up all the content. I'm going to be locking that personal page down here in the next few months. Um, and then on Instagram, at NLC Firearms Training. If you have not, please be sure to go to all the platforms and um, look up The Armed Citizen uh, on Coleon's show, the uh, season six, The Armed Citizen. Uh, you can find an episode of Aiming for the Truth on there. And it's also me. Yeah, please look at it many times. Yes, please. And comment, engage, say things. Yeah, um, oh, we all went there and put um, hashtag uh, Kevin has a big old sexy burl. <laughs> yeah, I saw the big girl panties. Actually, when I went and looked at it, I saw some of the panties. I saw Hank's comment. I saw um, Chris. <laughs> a bunch of you guys on there. So that's that's always good. And we say that for a reason, guys, because they look at it. Um, yeah, they do. But, um, really, really appreciate all the support um, and stay tuned for more production. But like I said, I'll try to put out a couple of more videos before like Christmas Eve. But after that, I'm pretty much going to go dark, man. Time to spend time with some family. Let everybody else enjoy and I'll see you guys all next year. Yeah, absolutely. Um, LV Louis Cipher, he's uh, checking out right now. Good night to him. I think he, you know, his sho shoulder is in pain. I know he's going through some pain, so we feel your pain, my friend. Um, you know. Okay, so Walter, what's up? Um, just uh, like I said, we're working getting those uh, CZ uh, cast stock parts finished. I'll be in the blast. I'll be in the. If anyone wants to come over and help blast some stuff, I don't see any volunteers. So nobody's raising their hand. Uh, <laughs> it's a sandblast, something. Yeah, I'll be working in the blasting cabinet first thing this morning, getting things ready to go to anodizing. First thing oh, in the. Cool. I should be. I should have been there tonight. I was thinking about, man, I need to do this stuff, but yeah. I'll do it in the morning. So yeah, um, like I can't miss. I can't miss out on this strange experience. So, um, 
but um you'll be working in the shop uh do you know, i'll try to get some facebook and some instagram pics up of what's going on i've been having some good conversations with the guys on facebook about this, the cz stock and they're asking questions i'm posting live video and or you know facebook live stuff and mm -hmm. answering their questions so it's pretty cool but um I like the video you sent me. I don't know if you posted that where you said where you were talking about having the hundred guns, the hundred uh, tail that hooks. Was, that was that was that was special just for you. Oh, okay, that was good. You should have posted I, that. I did do another one too, and when I opened the box up, mm -hmm. uh, but I haven't posted that yet because we're trying to figure out how we're gonna sell them and stuff like that. So yeah, um, absolutely. Because I get I get a lot of grief when I post stuff that's for sale and I don't tell other people how much and and all that good stuff. Um, I, I catch hell for that. So, um, <laughs> uh, but anyways, yeah, just doing stuff around the shop, the Facebook, Instagram, um, there's a YouTube channel, you know, people are subscribing. I'll try to get some more stuff up there for you guys. Um, I will be posting some stuff around Christmas time because Christmas day and those days people are sitting around with their relatives and they're, and they're tired of talking and they start looking at the YouTubes and stuff, you know, so we're going to be posting yeah. stuff. There. I think we're all going to be on break for Christmas, but we'll still be posting stuff, guys. And if yeah. you want to help us all out, what you can do is go support our other videos that are up there and, you know, watch them a couple times and all that. Um, and when we do that final show next week, Tuesday on the 19th, you know, let us know what guns you want for Christmas. Like, what's on your Christmas? Yeah, what do you want for your Christmas present? What do you want? What, what kind of Christmas cake you like? You like? Yeah, not you like, that we're buying them for you. We're not. Buying them. <laughs> yeah, it seemed like that's what you were leading up to. No, no, we're not. <laughs> But let us know anyway. But that, well, we, my, we used to own a piece of property down in uh, Port Tampa in Florida, in, in Tampa, an area called Port Tampa, down toward the port. And there was this man that come around, this black man would come around every year and go, you got my Christmas cake? What'd you get me? You got my Christmas cake? I'm like, well, I couldn't even understand what he was saying at first. He was saying, Christmas cake. You got my Christmas cake? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I ain't got you no damn Christmas cake. You crazy. <laughs> Were you giving out cakes or something? No, I wasn't giving out cakes. He, oh. he was just messing with me. It was fun. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, so yes. So we'll be doing that. You know, I want to thank everyone for joining us. You know, we really appreciate all the comments, thumbs ups, and everything. It's awesome. Thanks yes. for hanging out here with us. We will be back tomorrow. Um, I have no idea. Oh, tomorrow's Walter, Hank, and Babyface. I guess you're coming back tomorrow. Well, damn, Walter, are you doing? Wow, you're going in. I, 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 I guess I am. Yeah, I didn't realize. Yeah, I guess so. I guess it's going down. I don't know. I'm just reading what's on the board. Let's see what's for dinner tomorrow night. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is why we're taking a break after next Tuesday. I'm going to have some of that meat that's in the freezer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. So uh, thanks to Safety Harbor Firearms, of course, Walter and the rest of the family for uh, supporting the Hank Strange situation, Rand CLP, Andrew's Custom Leather, and, of course, the Big Daddy Guns crew. Big Daddy. Yeah, you know, we appreciate the Big Daddy Guns, guys. Um, you know, there is BigDaddyGuns.com. They sell stuff on there. You guys can go check that out. As well as they're on Gun Broker. And if you're here in Gainesville in the store, on Saturday we'll be in the store hanging out. Me, I'll be there. Babyface will be there. Come see us if you're in town. Thanks to everyone that supports us on Patreon. We are Patreon slash Hank Strange, and we appreciate your patronage. That's it. See you tomorrow. Peace. Peace out, guys. Peace.